Okay, we should be ready and good to go. Looks like the hub here is a little bit heavier compared to the rest of the game, because everything else was going a lot more smoothly. Hopefully it keeps up with the with the stream open. Congrats, thanks, this is the first time I actually applied and managed to get in. Uh, MC, of course, female character. I don't even know why they give you the option for the male one. I just checked. Doesn't look like there's anyone suspicious outside. Don't worry, I wasn't followed. It took a lot to get out of 14th Street unnoticed, but I made sure nobody was tailing me. I hope so. I know things have been tight lately with the general election just around the corner. They're really cracking down on proxies. They set up a hotline and... Okay, Nicole, as long as you understand. Let's get straight to the point. I need you for an important commission with pay. Uh, Nicole gives a brief account of the conflict with the Red Fang gang. So Billy and Ambi fell into a hollow. I have to get them out. Yeah, they were trying to pick up and a box and fell into this other dimension. So looks like we're going to have to go save them. The only ones who can help. Why don't you make a rescue application with the Hollow Investigative Association? I don't want to make us a target for the association right now. If they found we'd been involved in Hollow raiding, we'd be in big trouble. And it'd take a small fortune to pay those greedy vultures off. But I... Leaving employees behind. <laughs> that does sound a lot like Nicole's style. Hey, don't be mean. I allocate a large portion of our revenue. Uh, to I didn't try because I could budget. like look. Uh, get into the actual all, release instead of playing simple. for a short time and then all having it taken away from me. I don't mind. I'm just curious to try safely. it out because I don't know whether I'll be playing it on release or not. Faithen, and this is just this job, a little bit of a chance to get I'll a bit of a preview of the game. Okay, deal. Uh, gaming companies used Still to make good, demos once upon a time. Huh? You'll do it? <sighs> Damn. You should have waited for Nicole to add the bonus. Great! There's no time to waste. I'll be waiting for you in the hollow. Uh, uh. Nicole, you're hurt? You should stay and rest a while before heading back out. But... Uh, also, pretty big fan of the comic book style. We'll need uh, your help text to take dialogue so far. To the hollow later. Oh, deploying your bang boo double, huh? Hey, can you tend to Nicole's wound? I'll go debug the HDD and help you with the prep work to infiltrate the hollow. Well then, let's get down to business. Okay, the hub is definitely the heaviest part in here. <laughs> Uh, authentication verified, user login Fantheon. No, new emergency commission detected, target hollow location has been marked. And looks like we only have the main story to go through. Casual mode, challenge mode? Nah, we are no casuals here, <laughs> let's go with challenge. I love the style, the music is good from what I've heard. The music is just okay. the same uh, Hoyo crew. Should be the same team that does the music for this, Genshin and Star Rail. Well then. They've had a bit of a change in style with some of the latest trailers, especially when it comes to Honka Impact 3rd. But still, always pretty damn top tier. Good morning, Barry. What's up? Hey, Andrew. Welcome. How are things going? <laughs> Looks like the third time is the charm, so I finally managed to get into this beta. We're back here again? Damn, another fight. That's a 
Do you find you didn't buy in a house? Uh, didn't you just... Uh, aren't you just finished restructuring yours? Yeah, but why not have another? I guess that's true. I can't hear that superior ethereal anymore. Uh, let me lower the volume a little bit because I, like I think it was a dead high. I propose now is a good time to take a break. Is that acceptable, Proxy? You all get some rest. I'll take the first watch. Thanks, Proxy. Whew. That was dangerous. It's crazy what a powerful monster that Red Fang dude mutated into. Okay, this should be it's better. All thanks to you, manager. You got us out of there in the nick of time. As expected from Faith and reliable as always. Uh, you flatter me. I'm just doing a little bit strange best. that the volume in game I is all maxed out, but it's still this low. For ourselves. Hiring the great Faith and to get us out is quite a surprise. If you hadn't come, I'm afraid we wouldn't have made it out of that ethereal's territory. Thanks for coming to the rescue. Speaking of which, I'm old and I, I can work on it while I'm not that old. You know, the one that lets you sync with uh, to as soon as possible after dealing with some other hollow. details here. That's some serious tech. Well, Even good luck then. In the hollow investigative association can't do it. With a trump card like that, why didn't you just join the association? Whatever way you look at it, working with us hollow raiders has to be more dangerous than the profit is worth. That sounds like an ethereal. <laughs> so soon. I only just sat down. It's we in Italy. Oh, you're here. coming to visit then. Unless, Billy, you'd like to stay here forever? That new Starlight Night belt you wanted. I guess a place that at your but maybe maybe check a little bit on those like little that towns that are actually that inviting people over and not. paying them. Because you get actually get, you can Go actually ahead. get quite a bit of money for Even moving to Italy. To us. Uh, if you pick the course, the right town. Yo, hello Invictus, welcome. How are things going? I've located the closest exit. Okay, that's the, the right navigation now. map. Please, manager, lead the way. Uh, drag or press, adjust the camera, zoom in and out. Hang on. Let me scan the upcoming area. Fortunately, there are no ethereals on our tail. Keep pushing on to the exit. Okay, that's curious. I was expecting this to be a little bit more similar to the New York Cloud map, where you have to go map by map to get your buffs and moving on. But I guess that's fine. That's that might be this might be a little bit better. Uh, better. Uh, scattered through the hollows, you'll find crucial materials known as observational data. Each commissioned hollow contains three sets of observational data. Collecting these data sets increases the final rating of your observation data in the hollow. Oh, there's multiple lines of text here. Damn it. And rewards you with polychromes. I guess that's currency. Data will be saved, you don't need to pick it up again when exploring the same area. And of course, that's dangerous here. As expected. Don't let your guard down. 
Okay, the combat feels a bit meshy, but I guess it's still pretty damn fun. to bring this um, any Greek or speaking town would be a good idea for me. If only I could remember when where Taranto actually was. Still not that small of a town. What's that I was planning to consult you and your stream Ethereals. popped up and decided to They're visit. What should we do? Honestly, Fight. as long as you stay away from the largest cool. cities, you should be fine. Uh, Vessel, hope I'm not late. Oh, you're actually early. Hell, I started early. <laughs> so you're very early for being here. Hey, OGM. Hello, Chishi. Welcome. How are things going? This track laying machine. We can use this. It'll be faster if we keep to the track. Okay. Scanning for safety valve data. The system log shows that the valve is unlocked by inserting the preset amount of gear coins. A security door that can be unlocked with gear coins. You have to pay to get through. 1500, which I should have, but I don't know if these are going to be useful later on. A wise choice. Oh well, it's the first map, let's just burn them. I was told to visit Rome, but actually forget about living there. Oh no, dude, Rome is so damn expensive. Again, it's one of the major tourist cities. You better stay the hell clear. <laughs> and even when you visit, uh, try and figure out which one the main tourist routes are. And if you need to buy anything, if you need to have lunch, dinner, whatever, Try and get as far from those lines as possible. You will eat better, you will eat for cheaper, and you'll generally have a way better time too. Still have to get used to this witchy mechanic. Because witches in here seem to be mostly done to increase damage or on block. This block. When Genshin is just to keep buffing your team, and it's sort of the same thing for Honka Impact 3rd as well. Uh, not to mention, I'm still not sure when the ultimates can be used. I was planning to actually visit the important places where battles happened, like freely. Oh, for those you should be nice and set then. Uh, when it's historical tourist locations, they usually even have free tours. Uh, how's the story? We basically just started. Apparently, reality here is being fragmented, and into these other dimension, the fragments, there's monsters. Uh, some people try to make money by going into these fragments to recover artifacts or riches and bring them back to the real world. And after one of the operations, Billy the Kid here and the little agent, little soldier, 
actually got lost, so we're trying to get them back from one of these hollows. You're finally online. Took your time. Apologies. I was confirming the hollow exit was stable. Billy, Andy, can you hear me? You know, space inside the But again, I only started the game and did the tutorial myself. Everything else from here on out is going to be a first time for me seeing it. A dead end may also just be a dead end. Thanks for the explanation, Anby. Anyways, our escape route after getting out has been arranged. Hey, Bell, you can cut the connection now. Let's call it. Talk soon. It's gone quiet. It became a regular bang boo. Why would they desync at a time like this? Going straight forward. Price for impact. We're gonna crash! We're gonna crash! We're gonna crash! Uh, as far as the tone goes, this seems to be even more uh, meme and over the top compared to Star Rail. Faith and got the time and location spot on. Oh, hey, finally, Nicole. Get in the car. <laughs> Boss! Uh, let me know if you if you see this stream stuttering a little bit. Because I am seeing OBS, OBS's encoder overloading a bit. Okay, that's the map. These are just common rewards. Ooh, I guess polychromes are going to be the gacha currency. Looks like it's the highest rarity in here. You're here. Perfect timing. That was fast, Nicole. Did you run a red light again? No. We just passed a normal green light. R255 in the RGB scale. Andy, what does an R255 green light look like? It's the same color as your jacket. Nicole, they've both been extracted. I guess it's time to pay up. Not so fast. That's not what we agreed on. Yeah. Also, was, Nicole, Nicole's have been nerfed. Item. You've only completed the but first it doesn't half. even look like it. If this is nerf, Nicole, Nicole, how big, you you, how big did they joke. used to be? I knew Faithen was the most reliable and trustworthy. According to what we saw before extraction, the strongbox should be in the territory of a highly dangerous ethereal. The a bit of stutter here and there. Yeah, I've been seeing that through OBS a, a little bit. Ethereal. Looks like a six-year-old computer that can't really handle both unlucky. the His game and streaming. Must have been pretty intense, considering he's become such a dangerous ethereal. Andy and I tried to grab the strong box, but that guy was so strong, we didn't get the chance before we got extracted. And strangest exactly part is that it's just box. OBS. Is it worth all this effort? Yes, I don't see mm -hmm. any stuttering on my game screen. We'll find out soon enough. Uh, tooth necklace, necklace from Nicole, the red fang seems to be like the insignia from a certain stream gang. Judging by the exposed metal part, it's not just for decoration. A tooth necklace? What are you talking about? It's a mini storage device. I noticed it before. He always had it on his person, so it must contain something important. <laughs> I bet it has something to do with a strong box. But... It suffered some damage. Yeah, look at all those burn marks. Faithen, can you do some of your mm, magic using that complicated computer of yours? The HDD is mainly used to process hollow data. But if we only need to export what's in the flash drive. <sighs> hey, sis, maybe I could try to recover the data with the proxy network's computing power. Great. It's a deal then. And yeah, we'll looks like it's mostly a GPU problem. We'll find you when we learn something new. And it happens often in the dialogue oh, screens. Don't forget to extract the data from the flash drive though. Ah, it might actually be time for a new graphics card. Goodbye. Uh, you will have friends, but I only found out Corsica wasn't Italian anymore like two years ago. Ooh. Isn't it a bit French for like hundred years or something? 
uh, modern day Etruria isn't even when the original was. How oh, Benito kind of named towns wrongly. Okay, free Nicole, that's nice. Uh, well, that's that. Every time a regular asks for a discount, we have to use that alternate account for the building. I'm sure you used to that already though. We deleted the last alternate account after we finished using it. This time, you can use my info to create a new account again. Internet posts often contain a variety of information. Use filters to find posts requesting help. Uh, hello? Oh. Okay. Click on the stick, not just move. Uh, something happened to my delivery. Pegasus logistic tracking shows that truck crashed into the companion hollow on 14th Street and hasn't been seen since. Can a proxy help me find out what happened? Okay, that's the schedule, that's the mission. You can view your internet level here. Level up your claim, uh, level up to claim corresponding rewards. You can view your current trial stage there. Complete all missions from this stage to claim the corresponding rewards. Okay, but here you just list them. Uh, anyway, the game is not a post-apocalyptic suffering affair, right? Doesn't look like it. Okay, let's try and get this mission started. Unless... What's in here? About the workbench, the workbench is equipped with a variety of helpful software designed to help you navigate and access essential information with ease. Proxy handbook, watching tutorials about system features, here grant rewards. Partner files, you can access detailed information about the agents. Hello co Holo codex, you can check the information on events and items in the hollows here. Intelligence, you can view clue objects collected in the main storyline. Okay, so this is the database basically. These are our three available characters. Intelligence, there's just the tooth necklace. Same description that was given to us the first time. This one's locked. Hollow Codex should be just the... Oh no, this is the... Events you can run into the exploration. Resonia Collection doesn't even unlock. And this is for the tutorials. Okay, cool. I am itching for more combat though. Now, apparently there is something messed up with the world, but it's not a dreary and dredge post-apocalyptic one like Punishing Grey Raven, Wuthering Waves, uh, hell, to a certain point, even Genshin Impact is a post-apocalyptic world. Now that I'm out of the door, let's start with the daily ritual. Scratch cards at the newsstand. I may just be able to get a freebie for an annual newspaper subscription, but it's still a chance to win something nice. After all, you gotta follow your dreams every day. Oh, there's extra tip. 
<laughs> what the hell is that? Okay, new stand is just operated by a dog. Uh, you can scratch one card each day. Wonder if you'll get the grand prize today. Okay, just normal coins. And tiny little bits and pieces of lore. Uh, head to the noodle shop to see the general shop about the commission, then off to the gadget store to find Susie. All right, I think I remember this. This is kind of the same thing as Monster Hunter, where you need to buff up by having a nice meal before a mission. Can't take your order because of Pegasus Logistics. The ingredient I ordered haven't arrived yet. They must be on the track we're going to have to go find. Uh, no big deal, I've already bought replacement. I hope nothing happens to that poor courier. I don't even know his name, but he's my regular guy and I feel responsible for him. Already posted a request and we're about to start it. Okay, no food this time around. It's <laughs> did someone hurt you? <laughs> oh. uh, isn't really a Shiba Inu? Yeah, but looks like he took inspiration from that. Glad to see you here. Great timing. My boss says I'll need your help with something. Uh, he wanted to mess the message to be delivered verbatim, so here it is. There are new ways to get new awesome toys, I'm sure you'll like them too. If you're willing to help, it should be available in the store soon. The entrance for this new path is blocked and I lost communication with the helper I sent out. Help me sort things out, I'll send more details to the usual place. Uh, this should be the minigame uh, location, but looks like these two will have to be unlocked with an extra mission. Uh, let's navigate to the agent screen. Select an agent to equip with the W engine. Uh, next, let's see how to enhance the W engines. Oh, they have the same relics and artifact systems here. Great pattern, use directional keys to use the W engine battery. Let's check what the NS does. Uh, basic attack plus 82, attack plus 8% and there's more empty slots there too. Characters with this stun specialty, the following effects can be triggered. EX special attacks inflict 10% more days, which should help stun enemies even further. The other six slots are worrying me though, so this is likely going to be yet another endless grind. Well, that was to be expected. They've done that for Genshin, they've done that for Star Rail. I uh, would have been silly to not do that a third time. <laughs> you can view the agent talents. Talent description, you can read how to upgrade it and what the upgrade effects are. Damage and anomaly build up inflicted by EX special attacks increased by 16%. Each additional effects 0.1 seconds of charging when she activates his special attacks. For skills, passive skills and attributes. Okay, this is where the passive and skill levels are. Oh no, never mind, these are not passives. Uh, these seem to cause dupes, so these are the constellations or eidolons. These are the skills, these are the passives. 
Nothing to fear. Starlight, it's... You want to test my ham? I have two guns, so double the accuracy. Need some stand nothing? Starlight, it's time No, to not shot. really. Need Ready for... I'll help you win. The lunch is on you. Now, how many characters did they add? And how many can we actually check? Did you call me? I shall... I am ready and waiting. Wait, isn't this the same character? Both petite, both white head. You wanna test my hammer? Uh, this one should be new. I haven't seen much promotional material about her, with the exception for the one of the latest trailers. Touch my tail, and now. Shark made honestly top tier design. I only handle technical matters. Another pretty top tier design here too. But uh, this, this is going to cause a lot of issues. Putting furries in the game is basically a surefire way to have one of the worst player bases possible. Come on, let's get to work. Starlight. Nothing ready. I only I one. Time for some hard labor. Ready for combat. Needs. I have two. Nothing to fear. The cunning hairs are here. Amplifying test supplies. Oh, looks like we get some coupons here to roll the gacha too. So, any girls or girls out? Oh god, no. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, complete the make commission, the proxy, and the hair. No, seriously, after Genshin and after Star, uh, Star Rail, they still didn't put a claim all button here. Standing by. Uh, no, also the characters, these are not all. There's some characters, characters missing, especially the blue head demon. We lolicons are in the oppressed people with nowhere to go. Well, you've got a little brown cat Ready? here, hey, and you've me. got the owner of Bellobog. Since you like Polaris that much, that's another little girl's little girl with big hammers here. You wanna test my it's our turn. I have nothing awaiting I But no, this is not everyone. Oh, there she is. I was worried. So it looks like the release characters are all here. Honestly, this is one of my favorite ones. Fantastic design here. Uh, how the hell do we go forward? Because A does nothing. From the look on your face, it seems you, oh, you seem to like the owner's gift, that's good. Anyway, I'll leave this little restocking operation in your hand. Uh, let's go to the hollow later and try and bring back the lost W. But since Susie doesn't know about her boss moonlighting, be careful not to spill the beans on her when chatting about the commission. There's no way we can actually ruin this now, is there? Uh, also, yeah, OBS basically dies in cities. Uh, what's the red hat called like? I'm going to have to check again. Uh, Coleda Bellobog.
Have you accepted the commission? Are you going to enter the hollow now? As proxy, we can roam freely within the hollow, which isn't easy for most people at least. But still, we need agents with combat experience like the Conning has to handle ethereals and other dangers. As usual, you should get in touch with trusted agents to accompany you. Uh, is this going to unlock the gacha? Looks like it is. Signal searches. Next, select a stable channel. You can quickly obtain agents or W engines via signal searches. So W engines maybe are like weapons. Since they drop here in the same banner. And at this point, we know how, how you used to do their games. Exclusive, limited time, a rank, limited S rank with Ellen, the shark waifu. I think I might want to go for this one. Uh, Dissonant Sonata, W Engine. Yeah, W Engines are definitely weapons. Stable Channel, this is the permanent one. And there's a 300 mark down there. After a total of 300 signal searches on the Stable Channel, you may recruit an additional S rank agent from the Stable Channel. Oh, this is the same thing they've done with Star Rail. Fantastic! That's really, really good. Uh, we have 325 points for the uh, searches here. 160 each, same values as Star Rail and Genshin. And doesn't look like the W engines have any anything special here. Uh, we'll have to check how the four star and five star animations look like. Yes, this is yet another V rank. But we have 21 pulls here, so we can do 20 already. Uh, this really doesn't look like a gacha game. I think it looks mostly like a... Um... Oh god, what are they called? A roguelike. And yeah, W engines definitely do not have anything special going on with them. Just balls. What the hell is this? Okay, we rolled for a bunny ass. Fine. Oh. Okay, old beast one is once again. Oh, actually got a new character. But it's the bear. We are not going to touch the bear. Standing by. Time for some hard labor. Ready for combat. It doesn't look like there's anything special. Oh, okay, no, the these are, are ordered by rank. Uh, same thing as Star Rail. These are for stun characters. The bunny band here is for defense characters. Characters lucky the defense specialty are unable to trigger the following effects. 8% extra HP, 10% attack when they're shielded. And these are all B tier. Standing by. Need something? My services are expensive. 
Uh, characters with support specialties, launching EX attacks increases impact by 8% once every 20 seconds. Mastery and anomaly proficiency by 10 for 10 seconds. Both members attack, I think we might go with this one. As for Billy, Billy is just an attack character. Basic attack, dash attack, and dodge counter increases damage by 12%. Chain attack or ultimate increases damage by 15%. Or regenerate 3 energy. I mean, this is a permanent 12%, this is a 6 seconds 15%. I guess we're going with the permanent for now. And there's going to be better stuff coming out later, so we're going to have to replace these eventually. Right, it's time to shine. 24 hour store. Oh, they have the same tapes that both Genshin and Starry also have, that's fine. Uh, MB Billy, these are character cards, same thing as Starry and Genshin. And they even have S tier uh, W engines. I guess these are going to be the best in slots for the characters on the standard banner. So once you get them there, you can buy these from here. That's perfect. No idea what these are. Uh, required for signal searches. Okay, we've done that. Can we actually start the mission now? Authentication verified. User login found turn. Notice that you've taken on two different types of commissions. Exploration commissions, venture into the uncharted depths of the hollow. It's essential to navigate your paths on the visualization board through the HDD. Combat commissions with your path laid out. All you need to do is fight and eliminate threats in the hollow. Outstanding commissions too. Standing by. Need such nothing to fear. The cunning hairs are here. Ready for combat. Need something? My services are expected. Nothing to fear. No more tutorials, the damn it. Character details, level. Quick add, level up. Uh, third one has got so to be. Nothing to Need something? My services are. Has got so to be you. The accuracy. Starlight, it's time to shine. I have two guns, so now, one thing I'm not really used to is having to use the controller, because all the other Ready games just have uh, mouse Need support. Something? My services are. I have two guns, so. Double the accuracy. And strangely enough, there's no mouse support here. Good. We're connected. Hello? Let's begin. Get away from oh. Oh, nice. Once you get more characters, you can start comboing these. Roger. 
Easy target! Perfect! Copy that. What are you waiting for? Get the bullet? Electric charge. Now, when will it be released? Since this is the third close beta, I guess they're pretty close to release, so maybe a couple of months? Uh, looks like the maps are pretty simple. Uh, nothing to look for in here, no chests, no puzzles, no nothing. I guess that stuff is going to be relegated to some of the other missions. Okay, I'll send the condition one. Let's see how the exploration commissions look like. Same character team. God bless you, mi amigo. Hey, Gabriel, welcome. How are things going? I hope the relics drops are better in this game. I wouldn't count on it. It's the one way they can, you know, it's the one way they figured out to have you completely locked into the game. You have reached the location where the goods were lost. No targets matching the description have been identified. Let's check the area. You can accelerate the display of text, voice and animations in the monitor in the HDD system by using, using the accelerated playback. I don't think we care too much. A new route has been marked. Let's go. No, because that one is a risky tile. And we can just speak every word from here. Be the target. We can get out of here as soon as we find it. Okay, that's the exit. Kind of like in this exploration mechanic. And I guess this also goes a lot easier on the development team. They don't need to make maps or anything anymore. Uh, six months just to build Raiden in Genshin was traumatizing. Oh, because you think you're done. That, that's the thing, you're never done. Unless you have every single rally counter with like 45 crit value plus. But even then, those can still be upgraded. Maximum crit value is 51. Uh, if not, no, no, maximum crit value in Genshin is 54. So every single one of your artifacts should have 54 quick value for it to be perfect. If you can't have that, you're not done. You never are. Okay, that looks like a heal node, but I'm not sure I've even taken damage. It seems like it divides the tracks. We should keep it pressed down. Is there anything heavy enough? Oh, that's cute. Is that the abandoned building material? Hmm. This should be enough to press down the track divider. Push it. Careful though, not too close to the edge. Oh, that's really cute. <laughs> you move it between screens. <laughs> Uh, 
A new route has been marked. Let's go. Okay, that's for the exit though. Let's go pick up our men. I knew I was a dictator when I use a calculator to test damage out. <laughs> you want to see my Excel files? Yes, I built my own calculator, at least for Star Rail. Ah, I was expecting a combat event there. Oh, this just resets the location, in case you fail the puzzle. That's fine. Uh, you're about to enter the critical stage of the commission. Please note that once started, you can no longer explore freely. Hope it's free to play friendly. Well, considering this is just another side project from Poyoverse, it should be. Uh, it already has some of the mechanics from Star Rail implemented into it, and Star Rail is a lot more physically friendly. Uh, people say it's not just because they release a ton more characters, but at the same time, they also have some of the better uh, gacha mechanics and more friendlier stores. Okay, I'm probably going to have to read what the characters actually do. Because so far it looks like the first character is just sort of a support that stuns enemies. Second character should be a support that increases damage, while Billy is our only damage dealer here. A new persona game. <laughs> Wait, what makes you think that? Uh, you got the commission done real quick, impressive. You should go tell Susie at the general shop. Time to lag into town again. The style is close. Oh, I guess the protagonist hair also doesn't help. Pegasus called shortly after you entered to the Hollow for the commission. They told me the driver has been brought out of the Hollow by someone from the association. That means I sent you there for nothing. It was actually us. I thought I'd treat you to a meal once you came back. Now that the ingredients I purchased last spinach are here and the driver is also back, I can finally make noodles in peace. What would you like to eat? General Chop at your service. What can I get for you Eat today? noodles for a buff that lasts for three rounds of combat-related gameplay. Okay, if you get a very long commission, these are also going to expire during it. Each time you eat noodles, there's a chance of, of obtaining an extra buff. After doing one round of combat-related gameplay, you can eat different noodles to switch buffs. You can check these specific effects in the shop. Oh, they cost money and unlock at different levels. Uh, attack plus 30, flat, 15% HP, 15% physical damage, HP either damage, fire damage, electric damage, 30% physical, 30% either. Oh, then you stop getting HP until you get the 30% by itself. Ah. Well, not as cute as the cats in Monster Hunter, but it's pretty damn close. Thank 
you for your patronage. Please come again. Ah, please stop murdering my OBS. <laughs> Uh, this should be the game center. Boss is grateful for your help. He asked me to pass my these thanks to you. I knew I could trust you. The new toys will be on the shelves very soon. Same goes for the future. I'll do my best to help you out if you're if you're buying cool new gadgets or trading old ones. Box Galaxy Gadget Store. You can order W Engines at the Gadget Store to boost your agent's combat performances and improve the efficiency of your hollow explorations. Each W Engine offers different effects. You can mix and match to complement your agent's unique traits. Excess W Engines can be dismantled at the Gadget Store. Hi. Since you're here, why not treat yourself to something nice? Okay, you can buy them for tokens. You don't have to roll them from the gacha, I guess. Or you recycle the one you get from the gacha. Mm, doesn't look like it, never mind. Might be a dupes thing. Oh god, they have their own in-app messaging too. Looks like you've already met the neighbors. You already take so long to read my text. I was going I was going to head out and look for you. Nicole texted and told me they were coming over soon. Please come back. I'll wait for you in the workshop. Now, I know they've had mini games in here, but I do wonder when they're going to unlock. Then again, we've only really done one main story mission, we should probably do more. Uh, Belle, you're here. Nicole says she has a lead on a strong box and is on her way here. This commission doesn't feel like an easy one. I've gathered some info and uploaded it to the tablet on the workbench if you need it. Feel free to check it out at any time. Anyway, if you're ready, head to the parking lot and wait for Nicole. Boxes. What about the task I gave you? You mean the flash drive? The data has been recovered. Just like you guessed. It contains the password to the strong box. Okay, everyone. Thanks to the proxy's help, preparations are complete. It's time for the next step. Anby, explain the plan. Okay, everyone, please look at this map of New Eridu. Our plan is. Enter the Creighton Hollow and defeat the superior ethereal Dullahan, then recover the strong box. Mm. That's it? Yes. What's wrong? So, what's with the map? Nicole says we have to show some professionalism. We can't let our partners look down on us. Otherwise, it'll be hard to bargain with them. <laughs> <laughs> Saying too much again? Billy, why weren't you paying attention? 
It's not my fault. How was I supposed to know this was Amy's idea of a professional meeting? Oh, that's why she watched all those crime investigation movies before the meeting! Is that why the meeting is also happening in the parking lot? Um, we can hear you guys. Uh, <clears throat> anyway, as Amy said, the goal is simple. Since there's no way to monitor the real-time situation from the outside, we'll need your support and guidance inside the hollow. Oh, and that was a pretty useful uh, loading screen. Useful loading screen I don't think I've seen in the workbench either. Con yes, that was talking about the elements. Is this just perfect parries and perfect assists? Apparently, different elements counter different types of enemies. But it's probably something that will only become relevant later, once we actually get enough characters to counter those things. Uh, challenge mode is on for the hard mode, fantastic. We made it into the hollow. Now let's find my strongbox. Speaking of which, boss, who told you about the location <laughs> of the strongbox? <laughs> That's a trade secret. But since we're on the same side, I guess I can let you in on a little secret. <laughs> I'm all ears. I'm all ears. I'm surprised you didn't take the chance to tease her. Is it because you know she gets pretty sensitive at times like this? What? What are you suggesting? Ahem. Actually, it was really easy. I have a few contacts at the association who just so happen to have the records of routine observation missions and ether resources for this hollow. I gave them an offer they couldn't refuse and asked them to help compare data from the last two mutations. Sheesh, Nicole, you're good! I gave them an offer they couldn't refuse and asked them to help compare data from the last two mutations. Sheesh, Nicole, you're good! Uh, what's going on? Huh? Why'd you say that again? Proxy, are you daydreaming? Isn't it time to go? Well, I guess since they're in an alternate dimension, the, the hollow, communications you, can get cut or can get glitchy. Ethereal signal is getting close. But can it really Go be something first. so simple? We've got Hoyo, uh, Hoyo involved in here. There are enemies on the path ahead. Be careful, everyone. I'm not sure how much I want to trust them when they pull off stunts like this. What are you doing? A mini turret? <laughs> what the hell is this? Oh, 
Okay, what are you? How do I get more of you? <laughs> this is fantastic. Uh, looks like the timing for the perfect parry has to be pretty damn close too. Because I've been missing quite a few of them. The air around here seems to have grown thicker. Yeah, the resolution on my video sensors just dropped too. That means we've arrived at a designated location, right? Proxy? You get me? Sorry, Nicole, I couldn't hear you. What was that? Don't drift off while guiding us. I paid top dollar to hire the best proxy around, Faithen. <laughs> Watch out, or you might just get a negative rating on the proxy network. Rise, can you hear me? The HDD connection is unstable. I hear you. Let me see. Wait a sec. I'll sync and try a debug. Manager, do we want to keep going? Listen up, guys. The ether activity has impacted our HDD signal. Hold tight. Data connection unstable. Attempting to reconnect. Hang on. The target location seems to have changed. You can't expect monsters to stay in one place. Weird. Is this a glitch in the system? Could the display device be faulty? Hang on. I'll adjust the HDD. Switching to the backup display. Resizing and that'll do. Nicole, how are you all doing? Let's wait, Jambi. My turn. Okay, there's no cooldown when switching between characters. Now we're going to check out how to get bust like this. Because without cooldowns, it might actually be a lot better to just keep swapping between one and the other. MBS left the squad, Billy left the squad, Nicole left the squad, what the hell? It's barely been an hour, we are already running into this sort of trouble. Huh? Bell, why did you disconnect? I didn't disconnect, I got kicked off. The connection between the HDD and the Hollow was severed. Start a debug now. Right. Uh, it's no use. I've tried everything. I can't restore the connection. Strange. The hollow... Shouldn't so easily affect the HDD. The real issue is Nicole and the others. 
Without the HDD, we have no way of contacting them inside the hollow. No carrot, no proxy. Even with a good aptitude for ether, they'll be corrupted if they stay in the hollow too long. There's one more thing we can try. Reset it! Uh... <sighs> Haven't you heard the saying? Turning it off and back on again can fix anything. <laughs> that apparently stays true in whatever future this takes place in. <laughs> so the connection problems aren't on our side. <gasps> I thought you'd never figure it out. Faithen. Oh, so this is all the famous proxy Faithen can do? As you can see, the system is mine now. What do you want? What do I want? <laughs> My request is simple. I want the code to the strong box. What strong box? What code? Oh, playing dumb. Do you not understand what's going on? Just give me the code to the strong box. Repeat yourself all you want, but if we don't know what it is, we can't give it to you. Mm -hmm. Mm, wrong answer. Uh, so you're playing dumb. But okay, I'll have to refresh your memory. This device I've taken control of seems to be important to you. Wait, what are you doing? <laughs> your punishment for lying. Is the notification that is for matting complete? This good. There's no way to save the alpha database. Get it now. A few taps on the keyboard, and I can turn everything you're so proud of into meaningless ones and zeros. You guys are supposed to be techies, and you don't have a backup for everything. But remember, your fate is in my hands now. Your clients are messing with the wrong person. They've gone after something they shouldn't. The strong box. I know you got the password from Silver's Drive. Think carefully before you reply. Damn it. This guy. Speaking of your clients, that unlucky crew is wandering around aimlessly in the hollow right now. I happen to have recorded something interesting. Maybe this video will change your mind. I sent it to you, Faithen. I'll leave the video access function for you, so find another way to play it. And hurry up! Another way? But we don't have... Oh, the TV. Okay. I'll transfer the video to a tape. Uh, the timing on this hack is terrible. What are we going to do? What if... You no, know, what do they want from us? Let's get in touch with Nicole Pronto. We have to see what this guy sent. The screen flickers into action as the video sent by the mysterious hacker begins to play. Three familiar faces come into view. Get out of the way! Whoa! More enemies behind too! Watch the side. Hey! Is this really the right way? Hey, uh, what's going on with the manager? walking around all like absent-mindedly and ignoring the fight huh proxy angry perhaps because nicole haggled on the deposit really is that it of course not strange ever since we entered the hollow it's like the proxy hasn't been leading us are they in some kind of trouble on the outside? Hey, is everything all right? Nope, that's offline. Way too offline. Unless. Don't go over there! Oh, come on! Stop them! Protect the proxy! Proxy! Proxy? 
Damn it! What on earth is happening? Uh, today's been a nightmare. Uh, the only thing is that it looks like there are no charge attacks. Uh, nothing for the attack long press at least. Oh, that's a big one. Perfect Paris flying out. The combat has been feeling pretty good so far. I've heard some complaints that it's a bit too mashy and some bosses are a bit too spongy when it comes to their HP. But honestly, I kind of prefer that compared to some of the enemies in Genshin, when you can't even get the ultimates down because everything melts instantly in front of you. You can forget about me paying my bill. Hide. What? Are those monsters back again? Not the Ethereals. There's a hollow investigation squad up ahead. Of course, it's the investigators. Wait, investigators? Yeah, there's going to have Boss, to be human enemies eventually the too. Investigative association. They have a carrot. We can ask them for help and follow them out of the hollow. Don't be stupid. Don't you see those public security guys with them? We're hollow raiders. Even if they help us, they'll arrest us right afterwards. That might be true if it were just us. But with that... Don't you remember public security's policy? If you report a proxy, they may expunge your record. Ah, uh, you're not really going Billy to throw us under the bus now, are you? Trade the proxy's identity for our safety? Or continue pacing around waiting for the Bengbu to return to normal? Okay, boss. It's your call to make. Whatever you decide, we'll follow your orders. Uh, boss? Enough chatter. We can't stay here any longer. Let's go! Ah, uh, that was nice. A little bit of morality from a character that looked like only cared about money. <laughs> I have to say, I'm touched. Proxies and hollow raiders are wolves, stealing profit from the hollows behind the investigative association's back, all constantly ruining each other in the name of greed. But to protect your secret identity, we actually gave up the chance to escape! <laughs> Unfortunately, the ones being rescued don't seem to plan on returning the favor. Enough, hacker! I get it now. I'll give you the code. Huh? Right. What are you... But I can't just give it to you. It's an electronic code, and it was saved to the database you just deleted. What? Are you joking? <clears throat> Don't panic. The password was recovered using the proxy network's computing power, and there's a backup on the network. We can get the password if you give us back system control. No way! Proxies, hollow raiders, none of you can be trusted, including Faithen. I know you've been secretly trying to take back control. <laughs> Wait, there's a backup on the proxy network. Hand over your internet account. I'll retrieve the strongbox password myself. Uh, 
Hey, answer me. Uh, I almost forgot. The proxy network is the foundation of a proxy's business. Losing the account is losing any proof faith in ever existed. But to save those in the hollow, you'll have to think quickly. They'll become monsters if they stay there too long. If we give you the proxy network account, then what? You ruined our system. So who'll save them? I promise I'll save them. How's that? You have no choice but to trust me. Okay, I'll give you our proxy account. But if you go back on your word, I'll make you pay. You just still see how, especially when they don't even know who this guy even is. The source authentication code page was transferred. Good. Looks like you've given up completely. We'd like to ask a question. Since you're cooperating, I'm in a good mood. Ask me. What's in the strong box that's so important? It's something someone like you will never get your hands on. But I guess I can reveal a little. As you know, the hollows are changing all the time. The carrots used to get out function by calculating a huge amount of hollow data. However, hollow observation equipment accumulates errors. To ensure data remains valid, it must be recalibrated using the hollow master data every few days. The single copy of Rosetta data that's in the hands of the city's rulers. Inside the strong box is something comparable to that Rosetta data. With it, you can enter and exit the hollows freely. I see. So it really is valuable. For proxies and hollow raiders, it must be a dream find. But it has nothing to do with you. Okay, enough talk. Tell me where the code is. Have you activated your proxy certification yet? Yes. With that said, we have one final question. For real this time. Whoa now, don't misunderstand. We aren't friends, so don't push your luck. My question is, since you're such a master hacker, why not just steal the password from our system? After learning the password is backed up on the proxy network, why not just hack the network and steal it? What? I'm warning you. Don't make me forget my promise. Now that I think about it, other than taking control of my system, you haven't implemented anything else a hacker would. Instead, you just blackmailed us with Nicole and the other safety like some kind of kidnapper. Well, it looks like that's the best you've got. You're just not as good as you claim to be. Shut up! Just tell me where the backup is. Don't worry, mystery hacker. We're helping you. Listen carefully. Can you hear sirens nearby? What? What did you do? We're just fulfilling our duty as model citizens of New Eridu. As the election approaches, the city administration is calling for citizens to actively report dangerous individuals such as hollow raiders and proxies. They even opened a hotline. Answer my question! What did you do? To be precise, I just called public security and gave them information about a certain internet account. Oh, I get it. So that's it. It was planned. You'd even abandon your insidious faith and trick me. No, you're wrong. We aren't giving up our identity. Just our account. This isn't over. You'll pay. We did it! We've regained full control of the HDD now. Yeah, and Nicole and well, the others are still trapped go. though. You too. You know, that was some pretty good acting there. You're one to talk. You offered to give them the password out of nowhere. Weren't you afraid I wouldn't understand? What can I say? We are Faithin after all. Great, connection restored. Let's get Nicole and the others out of there. You know, also, holy hell, the animations. They went all out with the new animations here. They feel a lot more lively compared to both Genshin and Star Rail. Yes, we got the system back. But I still need to get EOS back online. Okay. Nicole and the others are waiting. Okay. 
and here we thought there wouldn't be puzzles. They're just a nice. bit different, but they're now still here. A local data signal. External connection enabled. Finished. The HDD system is reconnected. Great. Nicole and the team's signal is back. Let's head over. Oh, I've mutated into a monster. Rawr, rawr. <laughs> Andy, don't bite my hand. You're gonna hurt your teeth. Sorry. I was just trying to cheer Nicole up. I guess I'm not so good at this. <laughs> but you're right. We've been in the hollow for a long time. Even with our aptitude for ether, it just means we'll become monsters slower. <sighs> this isn't like me. The cunning hairs only care about money. Not caring about others is my motto. I guess you're not as cold-hearted as you think you are. <sighs> Don't try to make me feel better. A little late to be screaming, Nicole. Proxy? Is it really you? Sorry to keep you waiting. We've actually been online for a while now. And B and Billy were both making a fuss. You were probably so busy being sentimental that you didn't notice. So, you heard everything? Don't be embarrassed. It happens to all of us. Uh, I'm not embarrassed. Come on, let's get these people out of here. The signal for the strong box is this way. Okay, on with the commission. But there's more stuff over there, so let's go there first. Okay, that goes pretty damn hard. I wish they've done was to give you a little bit of an indicator for which button switch into which character. Eliminating target. 
integration hollow deep within, while funding tracks in the flash drive locator signal, the cunning has are briefed on the changes that happened once they, once they were disconnected. Is that so? The manager cut off all comms with us because a hacker infiltrated their device. So it wasn't because of Nicole haggling on the price. I may be a proxy, but I'm not that merciless. Also a big fan of them I actually having the MC being voiced. Hmm. So the proxy thinks there's something up with the flash drive holding the password. We checked the HDD for security risks, and that was the most likely. If that's the case, the Red Fang Gang didn't snatch the strongbox for themselves. They're working a commission for someone else. Just like us! If it weren't for the proxies intervening, we'd be the ones on the firing line. Thanks, Starlight, we've got you, manager. Uh, thanks, I think. Coming from Billy. That's about the highest praise you can get. Well, judging by the fee, I assumed it was just a simple stolen goods job. But it's just another scumbag sticking their nose in other people's business again. I... I gotta ditch this like a hot potato once I get back. And I gotta charge double my price to that agent! Nicole, I suggest speeding up the search. We're reaching the limits of our ether aptitude in this hollow. If our combat strength drops again due to corruption, I'm afraid we won't be able to take care of any accidents we come across on the way to finding the strongbox. Accidents? You mean like that Red Fang Gang dude who mutated into that superior level ethereal? Yeah, that Delahan is probably still looking for us in the hollow. Ambie's right. We have to speed things up and find the strongbox before that monster does. Come on, Proxy. Lead us to our target. Hollow Fisher detected ahead. Suggestion, move to a lower level. Be careful on the descent. Hollow Fissures are a manifestation of spatial disorder in the hollows, whereby new areas are continually generated inside a hollow, creating infinite extensions that are highly disorienting. Data show the fissure ahead leads to a new area below. Once you step into it, please be ready to fall. Things might get a little tough here. It's okay. We're seasoned hollow raiders. Oh. No okay, even do multiple this, levels. It get any easier. Normally, we avoid fissures unless absolutely necessary. <clears throat> but this time, it really is necessary. Hmm? Is this where the strong box is? Slow down and take in your surroundings first. It looks like there's been a pretty big change in the images we're seeing too. A certain hollow contains zone of high either activities. In this zone, stepped onto an unexplored territory will increase pressure. Once the squad pressure reaches 100, your agents will suffer pressure overload and obtain a random corruption and have their pressure reset to zero. Corruptions can have an impact on your combat and exploration abilities. Press the left bumper to open the corruption bar and see more details. The spatial disorder effect still exists here. Exploring will increase our pressure. We have to plan out our best route. You're the pro, so you call the shots. Uh, also, what's on Y here? Combat a million builds a machine gun that continually shoots enemies, dealing massive physical damage. And looks like we have a second slot too. Uh, if I know my Honkai Impact 3rd correctly, these are going to be like the elves and we're going to be needed, need to roll for them to increase combat a bit, to improve our combat a bit. Uh, Corruption inflicted, radicalize both enemies and allies deal more damage. That's fine as long as we don't get it.
Find either dewdrops in, in an obscure corner. This natural medicine is formed from condensed natural ether, described as non toxic as harmless. Have used process it before it evaporates. Okay, looks like it just heals, doesn't actually fix corruption. Okay, looks like it's boss time, it's finally. <laughs> Okay, these spell effects are actually killing OBS, damn it. I was hoping this wouldn't happen. Dribble and quadruple chain. JJK lights come up. Uh, there's no need for dramatics. I have another solution. I just need the nod from Nicole. Go for it! Agreeing a little early, yeah? Uh, the mysterious person who hacked into my system said the strong box contained something like the Rosetta data, something that could be used to get in and out of the hollows. If that's true, we can use it to get out of the hollow. But you'd have to agree to letting me open it. Um, I already said yes! Are you sure it's okay? What will you tell your client? It's life and death here! Besides, if I don't get out, who's gonna bring up the strong box? Just open it! You already know the code, right? Yeah, I do. But I don't know exactly what's stored inside. I'm not sure what the consequences of forcefully accessing the data might be. Wait, there's one thing I don't understand. Why risk coming back to help us when your real body was already outside the hollow? You could have just left. What are you planning? Abby! 
Can't really just leave you guys in here now, can we? I'm your proxy. I promise to get you out, so that's what I'll do. And if for some reason I fail, the HDD system will automatically post a commission to get you out on Internaut. If that happens, I... Don't worry. Whatever happens, we'll go to the store and save you! You can say what you want. You're not getting a discount. Scaring me. Wake up. Terms and conditions. Shall not authorize others to use. May not be transferred in any way. Oh, manager, you did it. We got out. Did something happen to the MC? Full authorization when necessary to protect the common interests of you and this existence. The bang bill is twitching. We'd better go to the store and take a look. Uh, it. So loud. Do you agree to the above user terms? We haven't even read them, and there's no way to actually read them. I sure. I agree. The license agreement has been signed. I am happy to be of service. Together, we will make new Eridu. Uh, six video streets to a random play. You're finally awake. Oh, looks Don't like worry. it was not a data it's set, okay. it was actually an AI inside that pen. Where's the data chip? Where are Nicole and the others? Calm down. You're still recovering. I'll explain everything. But first, tell me what happened after reading the data. Sounds like a bad dream, or something you'd watch in a movie. I've got your side of the story. Now it's my turn. After you access the data, our Bang Boo went out of control. It seemed to be having some kind of overload. It was sparking and flashing like the stage lights at 404 Live. We thought the extraction plan had failed, but then the Bang Boo suddenly started to move, and it took everyone to the exit. You were out cold throughout the whole process. Twitching and mumbling. Hmm. It sounds a little scary. It was more than a little scary. You had me really worried. I didn't know what to do. Then Nicole and the others rushed over with a mysterious doctor. An acquaintance of theirs, I guess. Who pulled you out of the HDD. The cunning hairs went out to investigate. There's some good news. She paid her bill in full. Although, some of it went to the medical bill and Bang Boo repairs. I haven't told you the real bad news yet. Go take a look at the computer, but be prepared. Don't freak out. <clears throat> Fairy, you there? She's finally here. Huh? Wise, this is... Uh, what? Our next news story is co co coming up right now. What? what? What's going on? System reset complete. I am a Type 3 General AI equipped with sequential integration. Development code, Fairy. Hello, Master. That's what I meant by bad news. The HDD system rebooted after you passed out, and... Yeah, first it, would, it was. got taken over by a hacker, now it got taken over by an AI. The HDD can talk? My computer became a girl? 
every Negative. dream Negative. on V, basically. AI, equipped with total sequential integration, you can call me Fairy. According to the user agreement you signed, I am to assist you in your work and wait for the opportunity to arrive. Wait, what terms of service? What opportunity are you waiting for? According to the user agreement, I am unauthorized to answer this question. You will receive an answer at the appropriate time and place. I don't understand real girls, let alone virtual ones. <sighs> I better leave this to you, sis. You watch too many soap operas, Wise. What are you so happy about? Master, I noticed a recent deletion and transfer of data to a third party which will hinder your career as an illegal hollow investigator, commonly known as a proxy. I can assist you in recovering your losses and rebuilding your reputation as a proxy. Wait, so you can recover the deleted data? Negative, I am unable to recover deleted data, but I can help you rebuild your database. I have unlimited access to over 80% of all smart devices in the city. With my assistance, data does not need to be accumulated, and real-time analysis of hollow extraction paths is possible. That's impossible. Negative. That is precisely my core function. To prove this, I can assist you in hollow investigations. I've sorted through the anonymous forums on the proxy network for hollow investigation services and private information gathering, commonly known as Internaut to find a commission that is appropriate for your current state. Please choose an appropriate time to carry out the operation, according to your preference. I look forward to working with you, Master. Okay, sweet mother of Batman, we actually got an entire Overlord AI here. I had a look and the so-called fairy AI did actually filter out some of the commissions on the internet. The difficulty is just right for a new accounts level and the pay is decent. We can't just jump to conclusion, I'm still not sure if there's a hidden risk with the commission she chose. I need a little time to check over everything carefully. There's no need to rush, you only just woke up and need to rest, it's been quite the roller course lately. Uh, no matter the name, the essence of the Fantheon is still Fantheon, despite the extra uninvited guest sitting on our hard drive. I check the commission background and influence fairy has on the HDD system. You should head to bed early and make sure you get a good night's sleep. We can chat about the details tomorrow. Yeah, bed or sofa. Now maybe it's time to get our video store back on track, since Nicole came here we've been busy exploring the hollow or fixing the flash drive, the video store hasn't been open. Internet gigs are surely going to sink in price soon, reorganizing this store a little will bring in some much needed pocket money for the house. Before you woke up this morning I had 18 go to the storeroom to take inventory. You can take charge of retrieving the overdue videotapes rented by our neighbor before the store opens. I mean, you have supercomputers, AI, and you can explore a different dimension. How are video stores still a thing? Hey, you here to play? <laughs> Sweet mother of Bayonetta, how tall are you? What does it feel like I'm watching Persona gameplay? Yeah, when it comes to the cutscenes, it sort of looked like it. But no, the combat is actually quite a lot of fun. Also, hello and welcome. A little vacation ended. I remember the videotape I borrowed you f from you is due today. Sorry for making you come back all this way. Keeping track of every little thing in life and work is so much tougher than playing games that only rely on your short-term memory. 
I would like to invite you to play right now, but it looks like you have some things to take care of. When you have some free time, remember to come play a game with me. I like that feeling of rivalry between us. I can't actually try the arcades just yet. Welcome! We have a new roast in today. Please have a taste. Hello there, manager. I'm sorry. I need to finish this phone call. Please wait a moment. You said you're lost, but how is that possible? As far as I know, 6th Street is a small neighborhood. How about you stay here a while while I greet my customer? I'll get back to you in a moment. The animations, they've been going all up with them. Like, especially when you compare them to Genshin and Star Rail. Like, Genshin is extremely static. Star Rail has a little bit of extra movement, but it's still nowhere near close this level of animation. Uh, especially with the cutscenes and the character dialogues. There is a lot of stuff moving here. A lot of squash and stretch too. Animations have been really impressive so far. The only problem is that the game is a little bit heavier <laughs> compared to Genshin and Star Rail. So even on low, at times it does make OBS chuck a little bit. Like, Town 2. I don't know what it is, I don't know if it's the fog or this strange filter that's on top of everything that makes running around town a little bit heavier compared to normal gameplay. Oh my god, how cute are these? And the store is close, sadly. <laughs> Them, I want plushies of them. <laughs> that was part of the plan from the very beginning. Make mascots and make market marketable plushies out of them. Coffee bean deliver, come on. Uh, you get your hands on the new blend of coffee beans. The packaging is very delicate, as are its content, but the aroma is simply divine. Should be able to head back now. What's that in the videotape? The one our bosses borrowed? Right here, here you go, it's just about overdue, take it quickly. have something in this store. Uh, train investigator low, this should be character experience. And everything is locked until later. Burn chips, W engine coin should be weapon experience. I run into a cat on the street corner, there's a little black cat, seems like the sort of thing you'd like, <laughs> keep it occupied. It's quite relaxed at the moment, with no signs of wanting to run, are you coming over? Waiting at the alley entrance. Well, that's another cat right here, but we can't interact with it. Honestly, yeah, art style, character design, graphics, they look really, really good. They've done a really nice job with them. Eh, 
and you get to pet the kitten. <laughs> Wait, does this actually go on indefinitely? <laughs> it goes on forever until you press B to exit. <laughs> uh, sorry to interrupt, but you've been betting that cat for five minutes. <laughs> uh, let's take a photo, that way you can be with the cat at all times. Uh, use your camera to take pictures of the cute cat. Oh, they actually have another in-game camera. Why is this everywhere now? I think Conquer Impact 3rd is the only game that doesn't have a camera function, and I'm pretty sure at this point they're going to in be introducing it in there too. Uh, collected all videotapes, I think 18 has almost finished sorting out the goods too, that was close, almost, almost lost track of time petting the cat. Uh, let's see if we can get into more <laughs> main story information too. Guess I want to try and unlock at least the minigames. I know there's supposed to be a snake minigame here, and I haven't played that thing ever since the early Nokia days. I sorted the videotapes, including the ones that have just been returned. We have enough to keep the business going for the time being, but in the long run we'll need more. We should consider getting some new stock. Uh, now that we're back in business, let's get our tapes sorted. Let's start by picking some tapes for display. By choosing the most popular genres to attract customers, find the right video tapes and place them on the shelf. And make sure to organize the rest of the shelves as well. Uh, video tapes should create a lot of buzz. Down to the final shelf. Let's pick this one as our final, this should be good. This reflects the popularity of videotape. Oh, the amount of money per hour you can make. I guess this is the commission system. Instead of sending people out to do missions, you just put videotapes in here and they give you a passive income. Uh, let's, let's leave these store promotions up to 18. Let's open for business when you're ready. Adventure Fantasy Comedy. Oh yeah, this has to be a TTV and SA limit down there. Uh, zero, 0 out of 8,500. Uh, manager, it's me, Billy. I'm still the first person in the cunning cast to have your new contact information since you changed your account. Uh, with siblings like yourselves, plus friends like us, everything's going to be fine. How about it? We're good friends and it's been a while. Wanda hang up today. There's two new games over at 6th Street Arcade. We haven't played each other in ages. Okay, let's go. Finally, we have to see the minigames a bit. Since Godfinger reopened, two new games have been released! 
one is called Snake Duel. It's even got a two-on-two co-op mode. So, how about we team up and go against some other players? Okay, teaming up with you should be fun. Woohoo! I knew you'd acknowledge my skills, manager. Come on, let's show everyone what we're made of. I'm still not sure how to feel about the robot's you mouth moving or attempting to move. <laughs> Don't you worry about that. I was studying tactics through the crack in the door before you got here. Let's get in there. Godfinger's pretty bad. <laughs> Coolest today. robot, but there the name is 10 out of 10. <laughs> yeah, that should be a reference to Billy the Kid, since he also uses double guns in the gameplay. Looking to relax after a busy day at work? You're at the right place. <laughs> you want me to recommend something for you? Okay, there's actually quite a few here. Uh, snake Duel, Train Showdown in Snake Duel. Use directional keys, we all know how to play Snake. Okay, this is basically the same thing as the Tron bikes. Okay, that one was on me. <laughs> uh, Snake Duel Clash is for the mission. Let's leave that one for later. There might be an achievement. I'm pretty sure there are, but this is just a closed beta. Everything is going to reset, so I don't really care about achievements. I will fill the map with your snake parts. Yeah, that's when you basically beat Snake. Uh, use your soul hound to dig soul blocks and advance toward the bottom of the abyss. Oh god, I miss these. These are very old school arcade games. So it begins. No, you jump with B, but you don't really jump. <laughs> Damn it. Well, that's one life gone. Has the second life gun, still have one more. How long does this even go down for? Oh, looks like this is the end. Honestly, big nostalgia factor here. I remember uh, I used to play some of these in the arcade when I was a kid. I would have never expected them to make a comeback in, you know, as side games in a gacha somewhere. <laughs> Ah, damn it. 
uh, seems like reverse Tetris. Uh, if I remember correctly, there was some sort of mining game where you had to try and mine as deeply as possible. And it looks like these are the only two ones, Soul Hound and Snake Duel. Uh, hopefully there's going to be more. How did that happen? It looked like Billy ate himself too. <laughs> Billy, damn you! Uh, do we really have infinite lives here? Billy, damn you! Yeah, Billy's about to explode once again. He trapped himself. Yeah, the controller is not helping. We might have gotten wrecked here. <laughs> Jesus. Ah, oh, we're going to have to win one, aren't we? Oh god. <laughs> this might take a while. On the bright side, you are given a little bit of a warning uh, when you're about to hit something or yourself. That gives you a little bit of a chance to move. On the downside, I still can't get used to the controls. Uh, it feels like this snake sometimes just moves on its own. Which is weird for a snake, because usually it's just the hips that do that. I managed to trap it and then I died too, damn it. Okay, that should be it. We made that one explode. Nice. Ew! Uh, 
uh, team up to defeat the enemy that is the Starlight Knights kind of game. How about it? I reckon I didn't do too badly there. I actually got a higher score than I did at the end at least. Uh, back in the day, I was always top of the high scores on the arcade machines, but I'm a bit rusty these days though. Let's you and me play a few more games together next time we get a chance. About trust events. As you are walking through the streets or visiting the streets each day, you may run into agents. Different agents have different habits and the times they appear will differ. In trust events, choose different dialogue options and agents will react accordingly. Certain trust can even trigger repeatedly. Giving inappropriate responses during the events will decrease your trust. Accepting agents' invitation and meeting up with them will increase your trust. This is actually pretty nice. It's like the Hangouts event in Genshin. But they happen on a daily basis. So you actually get to meet the character in characters in the game a little bit more often. Not bad, not a bad idea at all. I think the next thing to unlock now is going to be uh, ways to farm for experience, ways to farm for character level up materials, as well as relics that we haven't seen yet. A uh, hello independent intelligence broker, Shepard at your service. We are currently serving invited members only. Respond with one or operator to speak to customer support. I kept speaking like that, could I have swindled you out of your private info or credit card number? <laughs> That's unlikely. I'm glad you guys told me about this alt account, that proves I'm still in your favorite intelligence broker, right? Now don't forget to get us more commissions, of course, why I have run right here. It could be crucial for your comeback as a proxy. Let's talk in person, I'll wait at the usual spot. What is this? Key stories are recorded in the commission log. Upon completing these key stories, you receive stars and can collect corresponding rewards here. For the levels completed without achieving the maximum stars, you can also chal challenge them again. For main stories and agent missions. Oh, that's cool! Yeah, that's a way to replay older missions. Something that Honkai Impact 3rd has, but neither Star Rail nor Genshin do. And I really wonder why. And we get some rewards for these too. And I mean, since it's the you know it's always Soyo, I think it's fine to compare the games between one another. <laughs> See what they're doing with them. Because a lot of mechanics at least are in common. The ADC is killing me though. Uh, is the open world pretty big or does it feel more like Star Rail? There is no open world. You have your little store, you have the 6th street which acts as an open world but it's basically just a very small uh, commission area. And the exploration maps are done in a very closed way. And 
uh, you have a few screens that you need to travel through. Some of these screens can have combat missions in them. And in those missions, you have limited maps in which you fight enemies, but it's basically just that. There's no real open world, there's no real exploration. Uh, looks like some of the quote-unquote exploration maps can have some uh, merchants in them, but I have yet to see one. I don't think there's a map either. Yeah, no, Y is just for the phone. A trigger opens this menu. A start menu, nothing really in here. Oh, we have the stamina up there, uh, 240 out of 240. So we should be able to get into some of the... some of the farming events soon. Another 10 part draw. And a survey for the beta. You know what? While well, we got it, let's do this other 10 part draw. Uh, sadly, when it comes to the specials, looks like there's nothing yet. But still, for a close beta, I was expecting to just be able to pick up a character I wanted. I'm supposed to be testing them, right? I need some way to get them outside of doing draws like this. And just one eight year. And that's just a W engine. Uh, these are basically the new weapons. But still, similarly to Star Rail, need something? My services are expensive. Similarly to Star Rail, the weapons don't really have an appearance themselves. It's a Kind of the same thing as the light cones. Okay, skill levels are going to require their own materials too. At least we also have very... Uh, oh, we, have, we have details for the multipliers. Nothing to fear. Stop. Need some PG. How can I help? Oh, that's the tank. Okay, even details for the stats right here. Uh, fire damage accumulates fire anomaly buildup, which triggers burn or continuous fire damage. A burn effect can interrupt organic enemies. Time for some Standing by. The electric here accumulates electric anomaly buildup, which triggers shock. Shock causes target to intermittently suffer additional electric damage for a period of time when attacked, but that's still basically another damage over time effect. Can interrupt machine enemies, enemies we haven't met yet. Ready for nothing to fear. The cunning hairs are here. Add the anomaly buildup, which can trigger corruption. Uh, target attacked during corruption take bonus either damage intermittently. Dicting corruption can interrupt energy enemies. Need Starlight. And you're the last one with physical. Uh, physical damage. Physical damage accumulates physical anomaly buildup, which triggers the assault and flinch effects. Assault interrupts the enemy and deals massive physical damage. Flinch increases the days the target takes for a period of time, which should help with stun. Nothing to fear. The cunning hairs need some standing by. Stun that she inflicts. Powerful control abilities, excelling at building up days and causes enemies to be stunned, thus creating opportunities for the squad to deal damage. Ready for nothing to fear. 
The cunning hairs are here. Uh, support able to aid and enhance other agents in battle. Excelled at buffing friendly units to improve the combat effectiveness of the whole squad. Need something? But we have just been time. meshing, and I think we can continue to mesh for a little bit longer. Like if we need to worry about damage types, rotations, and optimizing damage, that's likely going to happen a little bit later. Again, I want to I want to put my hands at least on a five star character before worrying about that stuff. Unauthorized process modification detected. I have initiated countermeasures. Process subjects of unknown origin locked. Force deleting, deleting. System update complete. Out of date and inefficient support plugins decommissioned. From now on, commission screening and info updates will be handled by me, Ferry. You're welcome. New commission detected from the completion of Hollow Affairs Violation and Anonymous Subcontractor Forum, commonly known as Internaut. Hollow information updated in less than 20 milliseconds. Performance exceeds 99% of all new Eridu support plugins. You're welcome. Now, escape from certain doom. That should be the difficulty level 2. Now, average level... Average. Enemy level 13. Difficulty 2. Can we level you up a little bit more? Ready for combat. 10 out of 10. Upon promotion, level cap raises to 20. Okay, how do I promote you? Wait for those materials, which I can't find right now, unless they are in some of these other hollows. Pet hollows, just one unlocked, nothing else. Exploration hollows, just one unlocked, nothing else. And it looks like this is the only uh, screen I have available. We're going to have to do this under leveled. <laughs> no other way around it. Okay, speaking about the exploration Rescue stage, verified. this is it. Rescue the construction workers trapped in the hollow. Accessing the association database to plot a safe rescue route. Matching locations of trapped workers with biosignals. The trapped workers have been located. Okay. Data shows they are in an unsafe environment. The rescue must be carried out as soon as possible. There's a path here, but it's blocked off. Oh, right, I forgot there were multiple levels here. Valve status analyzed. The valve opens only once sufficient. The lock isn't smart tech, so unfortunately. 3,500. So we have, to, we have to explore more either to get the money to open that door. Name tag verified. This is an investigator the association dispatched for this search and rescue operation. I never thought I'd meet anyone I've seen here. I thought everyone was. Please, you have to save my teammates. The investigator was dispatched by the association for a search and rescue mission. Unfortunately, their squad fell into an ethereal ambush, and he was the only one who managed to escape. Data from investigator received. Exploration data updated. What else is in here? A combat and possibly someone to rescue. 
in one tile in front of us. Oh, actual human enemies. And yeah, these are the exploration maps. There are some traps, but this is basically it. I haven't seen any sort of hidden treasures like what they would do for Star Rail, nor anything weird to interact with. It's just room to room, combat to combat. The animations are really baller though. Uh, kind of like on Kai Impact stages, yeah, sort of. You know, at least before they started introducing open world maps to Honka Impact. signs of non-corrupted individuals association data warning excessively large transactions are usual also you have insufficient exploration data updated we are really doubly locked when it comes to exploration due to the fact that we're too damn poor <laughs> There should be a path here too, but it's also blocked. Uh, Bengbu plugin, me digger. Enter an unknown area that cannot be scanned. Uh, you must use, you must learn to use various tools if you want to explore the hollow without issue. It seems that the tool this hollow raider gave you can clear blocked paths. Does it have to be this one though? Because if we go down another layer, I don't know if we're going to be able to make our way back up. That's an area the HDD system can't scan. Let's try using this carrot data. New exploration routes detected in the hollow's upper level. Displaying new areas to explore. <laughs> this is so damn trippy. Mini boss too. Easy target. Perfect. Yeah. Yeah. 
In my sights. What's this? Huh? Killing. I'm coming. Feel the power and starlight. Can't you maneuver? The pleasure's all yours. Easy target. Perfect. Roger. Uh, still not sure how close I need to be to the orange flash in order to actually drop the perfect parry. The ultimate lines to are so damn campy. Uh, you find either dewdrops in an obscure corner, the natural medicine, okay, that heals a little bit. We have reached a trapped individual. Work ID 1686389. Vitals. Okay, that's the first guy rescued. The trapped worker has been moved to a safe location. Ah, it moved us too, though. There's a path here, but it's blocked off. There should be a path here too, but it's also blocked. There should be a path here too, but it's also blocked. Uh, should be here? Okay, these are just draining our HP. We have reached a trapped individual work ID. If this is going to reset, let's do it after everything. The trapped worker has gone to a safe location. And we finally have the thirty five hundred to pass through the first roadblock. Sufficient gear coins paid. Authentication successful. Opening valve. Scan here for nearby hollow data. Exploration route one floor above updated. Displaying new areas to explore. There's a path here, but it's blocked off. Okay, this should be the third and last fight of this mission. Unless there's a boss at the end. Stand still. Hey. 
Another thing that's not helping is that the character switch is done with the bumper instead of the trigger, <laughs> unlike Honkai Impact. And I'm just not used to that. Unless that one was the boss. We have reached a trapped individual. Work Ouch! That hurt! I've never been struck by a bang boo before. Sorry, I'm getting out of this hollow right now. We found all the survivors. Time to evacuate. Uh, but we also have one tile that was not accessible. The trapped workers have all been rescued. At least just one tile, I don't think it matters, let's get out of here. Well, maybe it did. Uh, collection progress just two out of three of whatever those are. Timing. Come here. Um, what's all this for? You mean these bags? They're full of broken signal transmitters that came from Bang Boo. When put together, they're equivalent to several low frequency signal jammers. With these, we can talk freely without worrying about Big Brother over there. Yeah, I mean that AI, Fairy. We need to have a serious talk about her. Mm. I wanted to talk to you about her, too. I thought with her calling you master all the time, she'd have you fooled. But seeing your utter lack of surprise makes me feel relieved. It's been a while since we let Fairy participate in our proxy work, and she's independently calculated all the escape paths you've used in the hollows lately. I'm sure you've noticed. She didn't depend on any local data, nor did she ask for any support but she's still 270 times faster than us when generating escape paths. It's not like she doesn't need any hollow data. She does. It's just that she can access the data she needs almost instantly. Remember how she mentioned she can access over 80% of the smart devices in the city? Looks like she was telling the truth. So, if we could only glimpse a corner of the hollow before, 
Now, thanks to her, we can see the entire thing. But... There's no such thing as a free lunch. Barry's presence could be a ticking time bomb for us. Exactly. The elites of New Eridu have been dreaming of the power she has. She's not just a bomb. She's an active volcano. And when she forced you to become her master, she said that you should bide your time and wait for the opportunity to complete the agreement with her. But refuse to reveal anything further. It's definitely not that simple. We worked hard for this peaceful life. If we want to protect it, we have to properly investigate her. There's no You're rush, fighting monsters course. every single day Let's and you call slow. this life peaceful? At least she's really good at staying hidden. So we don't need to worry about hackers like last time. Didn't you ask the Cunning Hares to help investigate all this? How's that coming along? There's not been much progress, I'm afraid. Nicole got the Strongbox mission from an anonymous subcontractor. They didn't get to meet anyone related to the commission. She said she was gonna try looking into the Red Fang Gang a few days ago, but I've not heard back since. I doubt they'll find anything concrete. Let's just hope that they don't get themselves into any trouble. <laughs> They're good at making mountains out of molehills. Anyway, that's about everything I wanted to say about Fairy. Let's leave it aside for now. You've been so busy improving our reputation on the proxy network and running the video store lately. Let's just chill out and watch some TV tonight. I might not look old, but I'm a true movie buff. I love those old feels the most. Uh, anything you recommend? Is enough? Uh, this tape, I haven't watched it yet, I've done several laps of this tour and thought I'd watch everything, what a pleasant surprise. You're indeed a fantastic manager, but there must be many customers like me who get so caught up in the wide variety of videotapes in this store that they could overlook the movies they really want to watch. I guess one promoter alone isn't enough for the random play. I mean, Heddy, the promoter, is ready to shine. Don't worry, I've learned about the promotion technique and pitches from 18. Plus, I know the movies just as well as 18, so I'm totally up for the task. I want to spread the word about this store, meet more movie enthusiasts, and share our common interest. Please, manager. How can you be sure we even have the money to pay you? Uh, don't worry, I don't need to be paid. All the extra revenue from my promotion will go to your store. Being a video store promoter has been my dream since I was a kid, so please. It's free work. I guess we're going to get the free work. Uh, Heddy cannot promote the video store. No, I guess it's just a different character to put in here. Uh, retro target traffic 68, 100, 125. 68, 100, 125. Wait, how is Bang Boo frustrated? I thought these were like robots or just AIs. How is Bang Boo frustrated? And I can't even switch this one to Heady. I guess I have to wait for this store to close, maybe. Uh, will you try Wuthering Waves? Yeah, once it comes out. But that is still around April 24... Oh no, it's May. May 24. 
uh, still a little bit over a month. About immersive storytelling, the immersive storytelling mode enhances the immersion in the main story and uh, sorry, other important story related game modes. Activating these restricts the main character's free movement and may temporarily limit the ability to accept and complete specific commissions. Make sure you understand these restrictions before enabling this mode. If you wish to move freely, you may opt to not activate this mode. Ah, do I really care? As the municipal election is approaching, the high-profile civil construction project to renovate the old capital metro is now officially underway. I mean, we're still it's very much in the early game. We still haven't unlocked even half of the features we're supposed to. I guess we can continue with the main story for a little bit. Vision will be carrying out explosive demolitions near the old capital in a metro reconstruction area commonly known as Canvas Street. Could you give us a rundown on the process? <laughs> Good question, young man. After the fall of the old capital, a number of damaged metro lines severely hindered the accessibility and urban development of New Eridu. To solve this problem, the deteriorating remnants of the old metro must be completely removed, followed by the construction of a completely new metro. Despite the cost, Vision has ordered a large quantity of high-purity industrial ether explosives for this operation. I see. But there's currently no way to pass between Canvas Street and the city, right? How does Vision plan to transport the explosives? <laughs> uh, I also want to Correct. try, but I probably won't take enough free space on my phone. I already play five gacha games that I've been Honestly, I'm might be the biggest constraint here. Entrance to the dead end hollow, and the red area on the map is the demolition zone. The tunnel from New Eridu. Yeah, I already had to make space for this one, but I think the beta is going to go on for like However, a few weeks to a month. So between Zenless Zone Zero so and Wuthering Waves, I should be able to uninstall this to and install Wuthering Waves in its place. The hollow. We were very careful to avoid any ethereals. And finally managed uh, to then again, Wuthering Waves, I'll probably just try it out, zone. but I don't know how long I will stick with that game. <laughs> I already worry. have way too many gachas on my shoulders, too. Without a dedicated detonator or a sizable external force. I really wanted to show you around, but to avoid signal interference with the blast, we've had to shield the entire blast area. Currently, only our dedicated frequency band is available for communication. All civilians have been cleared of the area, but communications are still being blocked as a safety measure? Vision has thought of all the details. <laughs> That's right! That's the vision of the Vision Corporation. The well-being of everyone in New Eridu. As we had mentioned a few months ago, the Vision Corporation won the contract for the old Capital Metro renovation project. By promising to complete the contract in less time and at a reduced cost, the Vision Corporation won the bid with a significant advantage over the highly regarded Bellabog Industries. Our special correspondent tried to contact those involved at Bellabog but was unable to conduct an interview. Mr. Perlman, do you have anything to say about this victory over the rising star Bellabog Industries? Well, Bellabog Industries is a respected competitor we can learn from. I'm sure they'll do better next time. So, can you tell us the secret behind your reduced project costs? This shouldn't be one of the questions, should it? What do you mean? This question wasn't included in the outline you sent? Mr. Perlman, we're live right now. What Mr. Perlman means is there's no question of improper cost reduction relating to Vision Corporation. We welcome the scrutiny of all citizens. Mr. Perlman will also be on the demolition site to oversee things till the very end. Exactly. Right. I will soon be 
joining our technicians to take the train to the surveillance site in the blast zone. The construction site is near a hollow, and they had to relocate all those people. Yeah, and they're using either bombs. Sure are Pretty else. sure they're going to open more dimensional Alert. holes near Street the have identified an near the renovation place. Approaching the store at high speed. Speculation: Their video rental is about to expire, or they are plotting against the store. It's just a customer. I'll go get the door. Uh, what? That's a strange way to say we've got a customer. Ah ha ha ha! It's the kitten. Uh. Uh, uh? <laughs> oh my nose! <laughs> ah! Don't believe that hypocrite! He's lying! Uh, not long after, inside the random play store. You could give him meowney before opening the door. You sent me flying. Little late for a meowning now. Welcome to and of course, greatest we get store. a cat girl character that has to be cat girl pants here. Were you looking for a specific video today? The 77 Ted and his cat film just came in. This sounds interesting. What's that about? Uh, never mind. Uh, now's not the time. I know. You're Faithin. I've got a prophecy commission for you. You must be mistaken. As you can see, we're just a normal video store. Wait! You don't have to worry about me. My name is Nicomada. Nicole told me to come. I'm not a baddie. <laughs> I'm not sure who you're talking about. I'm pretty positive you've got the wrong place. Nicole of the Cunning Hairs! The leader of the odd job agency, the Cunning Hairs! Look! This is her bang boo! This is proof, right? That certainly is the bang boo Nicole usually has with her. Did Nicole really send you? Where are they now? The place he just mentioned in the news! Vision's Blast Zone! That guy said there was no one inside! But that's a lie! Would it be weird if I wasn't even surprised? Do they have a good reason for being at Vision's construction site? are causing trouble there's been several fights and so many people like camp tuna take it easy it sounds like you're talking about a huge sale at a shopping center or something um well i don't know where to start right nicole bangu it's got the visual data from the past few days just have a look you'll get what i mean unfortunately only its owner or the manufacturer of the marcel group has access to its visual data What's that weird sound? What's up with Fairy? Is she trying to tell us something? What's that? Fairy? Uh, no. Nothing like that here. <clears throat> Fairy? Do you have any way to read the Bang Boo data? Question. Is the request to convert this Bang Boo's visual recording into video output? <laughs> the way her ears just, just showed up. Virtual assistant. So, Fairy, can you do it? Processing Bangboo visual data for the last several days. Please say, I'm stupid. I should have asked sooner. I'm stupid. I should have turned you off sooner. <laughs> yeah, also, I don't know why, but after the Hersher of Corruption, I cannot trust anything in the shape of an eye that Oyo puts forward. and reading visual data. Dude, these little cutscenes are a gem after the other. Complete. Commencing playback. Whoa, we've got an image. <gasps> Let me see. <gasps> yeah, that's it. That's the day Nina Cole met. <laughs> they must have spent so much on the animators.
Uh, chapter 1, cut, lost and found. Oh, we might actually be out of the hey! tutorial. Hey! Stop! <coughs> You'll pay for what you did to Silver! Don't move! <laughs> okay, okay, I won't move. Take it easy, you two. Breathe in, breathe out. I gotta say, don't you think it's unfair? After all, it's the ether corruption that killed your boss, not us cunning hairs. What do you mean? You're risking it all on a mistake. Don't you think you should try thinking for yourself? The cutting hair's entire savings are in this briefcase. I'll give you half if you pretend you didn't see me today. How about it? Show us the money first. We'll check it ourselves. How do you open it? Left four, right seven. It'll open when you hear the click. <laughs> Street Kid Rule Number One Never Trust a Stranger. <laughs> and you thought you could take something from me. What about me? <gasps> Street Kid Rule Number Two Never Leave Your Back Open. <laughs> that explosion came from over here. Get them! These two idiots got taken out! She couldn't have gone far! Go after her! They almost found us. You're not here to ambush me? You... Uh, you're not with the Red Fang Gang? Nah, her design is not the, the one of the generic NPC. I'm as much a victim of theirs as you are. I'm Neko Miyamana, but you can call me Neko Mara. I've got a commission for the cunning heirs. But before that, we need to get out of here. You mean Slater on his street in the quarter? What's taking Nicole so long? Could she have gotten caught by the gang? I'm confident in Nicole's adaptability. But considering we're being targeted by the Red Fang Gang, things aren't looking too good lately. Uh, that's right. If it weren't for the manager commissioning us to look into the strong box, I really wouldn't want to go anywhere near these guys' turf again. Billy, do you really have a cold? If you hadn't sneezed earlier and exposed our position, we wouldn't have been forced to split up. Um, the machine oil I'm using now has low fluidity in the cold, so some of my gears are starting to run slow. <laughs> how, you have a, how do you have a cold as a robot? You're cold <laughs> because I bet you weren't wearing enough last night while watching Oh Sweetie. Nicole. Boss, you all right? Why are you coming from the direction of the hollow? Oh, and who's this kid? Name's Nicomata, your new client. Oh, that's our boss for you, finding work at a time like this. Did you approach Nicole yourself? Don't worry, MB. If it weren't for Nicomata, I'd still be trapped in the Red Fang Gang's territory. Yeah, come on now. Don't be nervous. I'm on your side. There's something I need to get back from the Red Fang Gang. Several years ago, the Red Fang Gang's leader, Miguel Silver, took an heirloom from my family. I infiltrated their territory to get it back. But I haven't managed it yet! So what you mean is, you want us to get your family heirloom back for you? Hmm, yeah, that won't be easy. The Red Fang Gang might be a mess right now, but as you saw earlier, they've got it in for us because of Silver's death. But let's just say our well-being is not uh, their biggest uh, Just near the game lagging, sadly it lags that a little bit. Really it's not a problem with the and game, it's a problem with OBS. When there's these cutscenes with three characters in it, sometimes OBS's encoder overloads, which causes the game to lag. Is it worth exactly? Nicole? Sorry for interrupting. Well, which we caused the stream to lag. Considering how dangerous the job is, I think it'd be better to confirm the sincerity of the client rather than the fee. My 
sincerity is as boundless as mackerel at an unlimited mackerel buffet. Is that so? But in movies, new companions appearing around the main character at times like this are always being deceitful. Later on, they might turn into scary ghosts or have monsters crawling out of them. There's no monster inside me. D do you want to touch and see? No, thanks. Please don't misunderstand. I'm the one whose trust you need to earn. And be surprisingly not a cat person. Hmm? Wait a minute. I hear footsteps from that alley over there. <sighs> it's the coming hairs! <sighs> uh, wait, you're... What? Well, that was close. I didn't expect any Red Fang Gang members to be here. He might have ruined our plan if he made too much noise. Uh, by the way, is it lagging wow, just in the video to... or is the Not audio lagging too? Yes, if it's just the video, this is mostly static, it doesn't really matter. But if the audio is lagging too, then yeah, that's a bit of a bigger problem. It was a clean hit, but the guy's reaction was... He seemed to recognize her. Of course! I've been following them to get my family Oh, just visual. I can't help if they know me by now. Also, hey Desert, welcome. At the same time, I also found out about all the hideouts. From what I've seen, the Red Fang Gang has three hideouts where they store important items. And my family heirloom is probably in one of them. There's been a lot of hollow activity recently. Unfortunately, these three hideouts were all I wonder if I can just turn on the preview and see if the encoder stops screwing things up. Hmm. I have to admit, it's a good opportunity for us. All right. Nekomata, on behalf of the Cunning Hairs, I accept your commission. You've got information on the but Red I Fang Gang. don't Plus really have a way fight. to see chat so, like this. Why don't you come with us for now? Sure! I want to get my family heirloom back as soon as possible! We've got a deal then. Let's go back and get ready. We'll meet up near the hollow later. Uh, not long after, at the meeting point outside the companion hollow. Nekomata just messaged me. She'll be here soon. Nicole, are you really sure about this? There's something familiar about the way she fights. She's got skills only someone involved with the gangs would have. But you're the one to make the call. I'll follow your lead. Ambi, I understand how you feel. I was here first. Or whatever. I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know what you're talking about. But either way, no skin off our nose, right? Even if the little kitten has a hidden agenda. Nothing gets past me. The Red Fang Gang keeps getting in our way, so it's time to try something different. Don't forget, we still have a mission. We have to help Faithen investigate the strong box. No matter what Nikomata and the Red Fang Gang have going on, she's familiar with their hideouts. This is our chance to find out about the strong box. And not to mention the substantial commission payment. So why shouldn't we do it? You thought of everything, boss. I'm back! Sorry for the wait. Did I miss anything? Not at all. We were just saying we should get cracking on the investigation once you're here. So let's get going? I'll show you the way. Let's check out the first hideout. <laughs> Dude, they made such a great job with the character oh, models, it's now. crazy. Ooh, we actually get to try Nekomata. Ooh, that's fast. <laughs> Not the Naruto run. Watch 
You can swap to these too? Okay, the combat keeps getting better and better. What's going on? It's been hours. The pickup guys still aren't here. But again, for the close beta, I think we're going soon. to need a way to get our hands on the limited characters. Because there's no way they're just hiding much. everyone behind the gacha. <laughs> Not to mention, before. there's no way Even to roll the gacha either. No chance of survival outside the hollows if you suffer serious corruption. <sighs> Give it a couple of minutes. There's not much we can do. Things are a mess around here without the boss. Hey, I heard another three guys ran away yesterday. That makes at least 20 who left the gang this week. We ain't the only idiots left working for this mess, right? Eh, who knows? We weren't like this before, dude. Remember the days when we had just made a name for ourselves on Canvas Street? We were ambitious and proud. Look at us now. We've got nothing left. I heard our old turf is part of the blast zone, so everything's going up in smoke. Yeah, it makes you wonder what's in that turf and if the guy blowing it up is involved. Nekomara. Nekomara. No! Yeah? I called you five times. Is the old gangster gossip that juicy? What they were saying had nothing to do with your family heirloom. Yet, you were listening so intently. Is there any particular reason? That's a strange question. I'm a cat. I get distracted by things all the time. You're keeping a close eye on me, huh, Andy? Uh, forget that for now. Nicole was asking if there's any chance your family heirloom is mixed in with this old junk. I wouldn't rule it out. Those lackeys can't tell what real treasure is, after all. Great! In that case, let's go through the pile and see if there's anything valuable... Uh, uh, um, uh, see if the client's heirloom is in there. Let's roll. We can take out a few guards before the pickup arrives. I still find it crazy that you can swap that thing. Yeah, combat sections are also going pretty fast right now. Probably because there's no huge boss in there. Acting as a damage sponge. Let's see. A flashlight, old magazine, broken ashtray. Huh. Ew! Smelly socks! Gross! Ugh, what on earth do these gangsters leave in their hideout? What'd you find? Nekomata's family heirloom? <laughs> Maybe if her family heirloom is the most amazingly awesome, epic, shiny starlight night emblem of the last 10 years! <laughs> that hurt! Consider that from Nekomata. Put that useless piece of metal back. <sighs> oh, your stupid skin so hard. You 
my hand. Wear a sweater next time. The kind your mom would knit you to stay warm. It wouldn't hurt him if he's wearing a thick sweater. Good point. No sweater. Uh, am I supposed to thank Ambi? Nekomata, how about you? Did you find any clues? Here's something. Let's see what's in this wallet. <sighs> That's my wallet. You stole it while we were going through the boxes? It seems you were too busy being salty to notice. Huh? How odd. Why is there a picture of Nicole in your wallet? <sighs> That's a group photo. Give it back, or I'll... <laughs> Are we starting with the you. Yuri already? Andy, put the blade down. Nekomata, give the wallet back. Nekomata, we've gone through most of very, the stuff here. Very, very typical of Oya. showing the random valuables we find isn't working. What is your family heirloom exactly? Oh, yeah. I can't believe we forgot to ask earlier. Hmm. I might tell if you were another odd job agency. But you're the cunning hairs. Hmm? What's that supposed to mean? Did I hear that correctly? I checked your reputation on public forums very carefully. Your complaint rate is always in the top three. The first 50 comments all mention that the object had been damaged, or that you caused needless destruction, or stole the item. Stuff like that. Look! They even attach photos! <sighs> Can't argue with that. But don't be discouraged. I totally believe in the cunning hair's ability, Mia. Yeah? After all, you did me a big favor. Really? How so? I saw it on the public forums. You lured Silver into a hollow and defeated him all by yourselves. Huh? Lured and defeated? We did something that awesome? <laughs> exactly. Even big names like Silver are no match for us cunning hairs. Finding your family heirloom will be a piece of cake. Don't worry. Once we finish the commission, Billy's gonna treat you to a big dinner as a thank you to our generous client. Yay! Dinner's on the co- uh, Wait! Why me? Hmm? Remind me, who said they wanted to treat everyone to a big meal at the Starlight Night-themed restaurant the other day? Um, alright. But... We have to take a group photo of the four of us doing the Starlight Night Flying Kick! Thanks for inviting me, but I'm afraid I'll have to say no. Huh? Why? I did hear that cat people only eat with people they trust. Didn't that kitty just say we did her a favor? Sorry, I must have overestimated what's between us. Any unusual habits of Thyrins you've heard about are just gossip. I'm just not very interested in superheroes. Plus, I'm a bit picky about my food. I'm sorry. Is that so? In that case, we won't force you. Anyway, what's important is finding Nekomata's heirloom. So, let's get to the next hideout. Nekomata, lead the way. Oh, finally we're moving forward. Oh, it's even randomizing our team. Does the android need help? <laughs> That's cute. Big fan of the double tail too. Ah, let's see if we can group you up. Leave it to me! 
I mean, there has to be some crowd control outside of just the stun MB provides, right? Look, there's something burnt on the floor. A ledger should be important, right? Nicole never showed ours to me. Why are they leaving such confidential stuff lying around? Right now, the Red Fang Gang exists in name only. It'd be a wise choice to get rid of these things if the remaining people wanted to start over with a clean slate. All in all, seems like Nikomata's relic isn't here either. It's not some relic! It's a family heirloom! Okay, take a break, guys. Since it isn't here either, let's get ready to head to the next hideout. The guards already mentioned it. The Red Fang Gang rose to power on Canvas Street. Their last hideout is in the Dead End Hollow nearby. What? What did you just say? The Dead End Hollow? Uh, haven't we just Boss, been there? You know the Come on, you must have seen the news, right? The Vision Corporation's old metro renovation project? Aren't they shipping explosives to the blast zone through the Dead End Hollow? Oh, I remember now! Vision had to go through a lot of trouble to ship the explosives because of that infamous ethereal lurking in the Hollow. Exactly! I heard they even considered eliminating the Dead End Butcher to make the Hollow smaller, and to open up a safe route to the blasting zone. But this Butcher thing is really tricky, and it's harder to kill it than to just transport the explosives through the Hollow. Nekomara, you never mentioned anything about entering a Hollow with an infamous ethereal in it! We have to renegotiate the deal! Uh, of course, the deposit is non-refundable. Meow? Is that so? I thought since I asked the smart, courageous, and righteous cunning hairs... <laughs> She's not falling for it, right? Swoop, even going into the dragon's den would be no big deal. <laughs> Busting the gang in one fell swoop. <laughs> Seems even the cunning hairs are afraid of the dead end butcher. Guess I'll have to hire someone else. But it's okay. My family heirloom is crazy valuable anyway, so I can definitely afford to pay their price. Let me check the offline version of the hiring form. Price from high to low. Wait! I never said anything about aborting the commission. What I meant was, we need a professional plan for such a high-risk task. Plus, the proper equipment, devices, and all sorts of other professional... Oh, I see. That means you want to increase your fee? No problem. I can increase the commission fee by 20... No, 30%. Is that enough? Okay, deal. You sure you want to make such a rash decision, boss? We'll just look for something in the hollow, dummy. It's not like we're going to start fights with ethereals. All we need to do is avoid running into that dangerous dude. It's just the dead-end hollow. Since our client wishes it, we'll go check it out tomorrow. Yeah, but I'm pretty sure trying to avoid running into that it either is going to be close to impossible. It's just the dead end hollow. Since our client wishes it, we'll go check it out tomorrow. Why do I feel embarrassed watching myself act cute? What? You mean all those meows you add when you talk aren't act? Uh, of course not! That's just how cat people talk! Meow. Okay, I've got a better idea of the situation now. You and the Cunning Hairs were looking for the Red Fang Gang's hideouts, and that's why you went to the Dead End Hollow today. That's right! And then lots of things happened! Anyway, Nicole and the others are in the blast zone right now! Master, the news channel is currently broadcasting info that is most likely closely related to the commission. Please watch it. Welcome back! We're now live as the last Vision Corporation train is about to depart and travel through the Dead End Hollow. It's been reported this self-driving vehicle is loaded with the last batch of explosives required for the demolition. Upon arrival of the train, Mr. Pearlman, who is at the surveillance point, will personally coordinate the detonation. Only after confirming that everything is Ooh, in order, will Mr. That this train is not going to get to its destination. The command center within the city. Oh no! I can't believe the last train is leaving so early! There's not enough time to finish watching! 
we have to come up with a way to stop the explosives. Otherwise, Nicole's gonna be born in the head. How do we stop them? We can't stop the train in full view of the public. We'll be arrested by public security immediately. The safest way would be to report it to public security. But if we do that, the cunning hare's identity as Hollow Raiders might be exposed. Proposal. We can intercept the train within the hollow. Yep, perfectly yep, expected. The thing is going so to blow up in the hollow instead. And we are 100% right. going to run into the, the hollow, big boss hollow the train in there. Route. Theoretically, no, sorry, big boss plausible. ethereal in there. Fairy, can you get the real time location of the train? Affirmative. Calculating a safe route to the target. Desperate times call for desperate measures. We have to find a way to stop it inside the hollow. New commission added, explosive last train. Uh, welcome back, master. Application for urgent commission detected. Target high risk area dead and hollow. As it's so urgent, I'll calculate the train trajectories in real time. I recommend taking out some life insurance before you go. Jesus. Oh, Nekomata only. Okay. New maps, new music. Hello? Bell, Nekomata. Can you hear me? Loud and clear. Oh, this is cool. I've never seen a proxy who's able to communicate in a hollow. No wonder Nicole says you're the best in New Eridu. Thank you for your recognition. It's time to implement our plan and intercept the train. Before that, though, let's review the essentials. No problem. I've got it down pat. Our target is Vision's train carrying the explosives. Since it's controlled by a computer in the driverless mode, we can put obstacles in certain sections to change the train's route and force it through a tunnel. Then, while the train's slowing down to go through the tunnel, I'll find a way to throw your Bing Boo on top of the train! <laughs> then it's my time to shine. That's right. Bell, your task is to enter the train through the vent on the roof and head to the driver's compartment to shut the train down. Don't worry. Fairy and I will assist you throughout the process. As for the dead and butcher, we've yet to figure out its exact location. So please be careful. Roger that. Good luck, guys. Let's get started. Sinking info for route to the control room. Main character is never going to be playable now, is she? Now that we can't even properly dodge and block parry, it might be a little bit more difficult too. <laughs> I love that thing with the minigun. <laughs> Hollow Ether activity is changing. Be careful. 
Yeah, I was worried things were collapsing around me. Wait, why do I feel like? Warning, high risk unit detected. Please stay away. Oh, that must be the big hollow. Infamous ethereal. What an intense aura. We are near the control room. I can override the controls for the track so you can alter its direction. Okay, but let's grab the rewards in here first. The train will pass through this area, coming from the marker. There is a decelerator device in this area. Use it to slow down the train for a chance to board. Got it. Changing tracks now. Okay, but that's not enough. It needs to come down even further. Is the dead end butcher back? No, the train's coming. Okay, honestly, I was not expecting these little maps to be this interactive. Uh, where are the other... Okay, this area is locked. Master, there is a large obstacle up ahead. The original plan to stop the train requires us to pass through this obstacle. You are small, and the client is essentially a cat. An abandoned train car lies across the bridge at an unbelievable angle. Huh? What's this train car doing here? A proxy, are we going the right way? Nekomata, there's no problem with your route. Judging from how the train was damaged by external forces, it's very likely that an ethereal threw it here. <laughs> oh, that's some scary strength! How big is that thing going Next to be, on Jesus? The other side of the train car. Do you think you can get across? If it were just me, I could probably get across, but not with the bang boo. And with all these sinkholes around, I don't think we could just walk around the train. Uh, um, excuse me? Yeah? Who's speaking? Is that the train car? With the gorgeous lady voice? <laughs> excuse me, Miss Train. We're in a rush here. Could you please scoot aside and let us wiggle past? Please, Miss Train. Don't play along, Belle. You'll scare the girl on the other side. Excuse me? Are you investigators from the Hollow Investigative Association? What's up? Can we help you with something? Hang on a sec. Whether we're with the Association or not, Shouldn't we find out who this train is first? In this line of work, people usually introduce themselves. Huh? Is that right? Sorry, I didn't know the protocol. Um, my name's Corin. I work for a housekeeping company. I'm a Gemini, RH negative blood type. I like cleaning my social security Okay, that members. is definitely oversharing. But Corin uh, should be another one of the playable characters, so I wonder if we're actually going to be able to try her now. In a place like this. There was a very dangerous ethereal nearby. I got separated from my companions while hiding from it. I don't have any carrot data with me. If you're investigators, then you'll know the way out of here, right? C could you please lead me out? So, she's just an ordinary person lost in the hollow, hmm? But what the heck's a lost maid doing somewhere so dangerous? What do you think? Should we help her? Not unless we can somehow break through the train car to the other side. Otherwise, to stay on time for our plan, we've got to turn back immediately and choose another route. Excuse me. Uh, sorry. I, I was listening to your conversation. 
Are you saying if I can get you to the other side, I can come with you? Mia, yeah. you can get us through. Uh, almost. Hang on. I'm nearly there. You want to go underneath? <laughs> Are you hurt? The in before that's actually just the maid. And just the maid it is. Are you really just a maid? As if anyone's Are going you to buy really that. Just a maid? Sorry. Uh well, we work in many different fields, including the hollow services. Oh right. You're in a hurry, aren't you? I can help. As long as you take me out of this hollow. Uh, please. What do you think? Now that she's helped us destroy the train car, we can move forward on our original route, right? Well, I don't think she's asking too much. Yeah, I agree with Belle. There's nothing wrong with taking her to one of the Hollow's exits. Miss Corin, we'll let you come. Just be sure to stay quiet along the way. Okay, good. Let's press on then. Second character acquired. Corin, we need your help for this fight. Ooh, nice charging. A bit slow on the attack animation, though. I think I still like the cat a lot more. Way faster gameplay. Corn, could you help us clear the rubble? The goal is for the rubble to weigh down the switch. Huh? You mean those stones up ahead? Valve status. The lock isn't smart. I need 500 more coins to open this, damn it. Really get in the way. Me out. I'm here. 
<laughs> okay, now they've done a fantastic job with the animation and the ultimates too. I don't know what people were complaining about about the combat being too mashy, this still feels pretty damn nice. Uh, sure, maybe it doesn't have the specifics of the Genshin Impact Combat, where you have a very specific set of skills to do. But it still feels pretty damn good. Okay, so that should be... Maybe or maybe not. Uh, if you leave that here, how am I supposed to? From up top, maybe? Okay, that should be it. Master, rail path reroute is complete. Great. Let's drop Korin off on the way out. We should leave this here. Uh, by the way, how is ZZZ compared to Anka Impact 3rd? Uh, I'm actually not sure yet, because I don't think there is a specific sequence in which you need to use your characters in in order to optimize your damage. But then again, I haven't really studied the characters just yet. So there might actually be buffers and damage dealers. Thank you. So very you did pretty good yourself. Thanks to your chainsaw, we really cut off our turn there. We've got our It's my first time meeting a real life bamboo hollow. Got our dodges, we got our special dodges if you dodge on time. On top of that, there's also blocking and special counters. If you manage to special counter, you automatically switch into a new character and they activate their own counter skill. So, from one aspect, it honestly looks like the combat is a little bit, a little bit more complex. But at the same time, I also heard people say that it ends up in a mesh fest, and it's actually quite unsatisfying. But I don't know how true that is. Now, all we have to do is wait for the train to arrive. No, so far, exploration maps are being pretty damn fun. This is something new that I haven't really seen anywhere else. Uh, characters, I've been a pretty big fan of the designs too. And again, it might just be the first few hours, but the combat honestly feels Master, fine. The train is about to enter the tunnel. Please make sure that you and your client are ready. Go, uh, we'll have to see later down the line how things go. But that later Thank down the Master, line, since this is a gacha game, is likely going to be a week from now. Force. This body's even more clumsy than I thought. Uh, just look at these short arms. Don't be discouraged. Your sibling liked your appearance. I believe tiny and cute was how they described you. Well, my apologies for not being cute enough normally. This window is small even for Nekomata, and she is basically a liquid. But it's a piece of cake for you. You should be called King of the World. Now, King of the World, 
Please head to the driver's compartment to complete your Why is this AI be so damn condescending? Okay, okay. Jesus. Just need to press the emergency stop button. This mission is such a pain, having a dress like this. Suck it up. My shoes don't fit either. Hey, Captain said we've deviated from the route. What's going on? Huh? It looks like this train is loaded with a lot more than just explosives. The news didn't mention any of this. Uh, good to know. Personally, need to see the cast first. Car design is a high priority. Oh, that would be the same for me as well. Uh, once we finish this story mission, I guess I can show you the character box. Because thankfully, you can check out the characters even if you don't have them. Also, they are definitely turning these into plushies. <laughs> these are way too marketable not to sell them. You're back, sis. Why don't you go get some rest? I'll go check on Eos. Like, animations are actually quite top tier, especially for the cutscenes. They put a lot of work into those and it shows. She should still be in the uh, sadly, for these she she talking head the parts, things are a little bit more static. But it's not all bad. And it looks like even if you do choose your MC's gender, you don't actually get to play to as them. Because these are the two MC's you can choose from. Now, That's of course, I picked Belle. Vision is hiding something. Right. Vision must have already realized the train deviated from its original route, but they hid it from the media. What's more, but unlike the Vision other uh, Hoyo games, with explosives. this MC seems to be locked to cutscenes. They were dressed like public uh, sure, you have a little bit of an open world area you can run around in, like this, and but that's basically the either. only place in which you'll use There's them. No way they were real. Yeah. And I've got this feeling that Nekomata's been hiding something from us, too. We should ask her when she gets back. But let's not think about that for now. You should get some rest before she gets here. Sinking with a bangboo can be very draining, after all. Uh, come and take a break on this sofa. You must be tired from exploring that hollow. Don't worry, I'll keep an eye on Nekomata and let you know if anything happens. Okay, we're back to the quote-unquote open world. Now we've got our room here in which we delve into the hollows. This is our little video store. They even have a lucky boo. <laughs> uh, with the hand gesture. As for the rest of the open world, so far it looks like it's just 6th street. Oh yeah, they've done something really nice with the design. Sadly, this kills my OBS, so I'm sorry if it lags a little bit. Uh, you don't have a real world map, this is all you really have access to. There's a newsstand with a dog in it. There's an arcade that has mini games in it. A restaurant where you get buffs for your next combat missions. And that might actually be it. The coffee shop I haven't been into yet. No, oh, and there's a store in here with three more bang boos in front. Looks like this is the only area in which you get to run around as the MC that you choose. As for the characters... Let's see, agents. 
uh, if, not a, if it's not a big world, I don't mind no map. It's just that little area around the shop, so you can access the few extra features the game has. Uh, characters seem to be divided into A ranks and S ranks, similarly to uh, Honkai Impact. These are the ones you start with. You got MB here, just electric damage dealer. Apparently she stuns enemies, so they are easier to deal damage to. Standing by. Need something? My services are expensive. Nicole is the second one, apparently a support. She should be buffing, dam buffing damage. Nothing to fear. Uh, third free so character is Billy Kid. Honestly, they went with a bit more of a comedic tone, which is something I really, really enjoy. Uh, yeah, apparently they have furries. That's a tank. That's the first character I got out of the gacha. I don't even know if I want to use them. And then there's the other uh, S rank ones. Of course, we had to have a lolly cat girl. Ready and waiting. Agent looks like another serious character. We still haven't met her in the story. Uh, she looks to be related to the one we already have. Even the backpack. You know, both backpack and weapon are similar. Wambies. But we have to wait until they present her to us in the story. Freda Bellabog, more lollies, this time with hammers. You wanna test my hand? I shall follow your orders. Sadly, more furries. And this is going to be spawning the hell out of the community here. There is no way any sane person is going to have this as their favorite character. And I am legit scary about what people of the caliber of the Genshin community are going to do with this guy. I'm at your disposal. I only handle technical matters. Hotness personified. Honestly, if I change my hair color a little bit, that's basically me in game two. Just a couple of assets missing. Uh, electric and anomaly, that's another thing. Agents with the anomaly specialties are exceptional with applying debuffs, excelled in accumulating anomaly buildup to weaken enemies and deal damage by triggering anomaly attributes. This is basically break in Star Rail. I only handle tech. You want it? Mm. Time for some tail care. This is probably one of the designs I like the most. I don't know why. But shark made extra thick tail. Yeah, that's a 10 out of 10 from me. Absolute 10 out of 10. Touch my tail, and now. Head made Rina at your service. Uh, another maid here, looks like another support. Not that big a fan of this, but she looks like she uses the summons. So she might be fun. We're going to have to wait and One, see. Two, yes. All yeah, red and black. Big fan of the red and black. <laughs> I'm a big fan of the red and black too. So there's one, two, and three characters I'm seriously down bad for. Uh, next one is Corin, the maid. But this one is similar to Spectre for Mark Knights. She has a chainsaw for a weapon. One. It's our turn, bro. The only male character that actually looks human, because the other one is a robot. Come on, let's get to work. And then we have one of the cutest in the entire game, Little Blue Demon. This one is apparently another A tier character, and I can't wait until I get her from the gacha. 
Blue Demon, Big Weapon, Little Loney, she looks way too cute. <laughs> non furry male, no way. Yeah, there's only four male characters so far and there's normal, furry, normal, furry, Barra, <laughs> and a robot up in here. It's weird, it's a little bit weird. But I do appreciate the difference in designs. Okay, let's go on with the main story, see if we can get to play with someone else too. Uh, apparently there's going to be different missions you can do in different times of day too. But we haven't run into any of those yet. I'm here to tell you that the coffee shop is back to its normal routine starting today and that I would like to invite you to come over and try a new drink. However, something just happened and it's giving me a headache. I wanted to ask you for a favor, I'm sure you heard of the Holo Investig Investigative Association, right? They reached out to me earlier saying that they wanted to rent out the coffee cafe for a VR game promoting campaign. I agreed and the timing for reopening was just right. But little did I know, it was a conspiracy from the start. A store is just an ordinary street corner store, nothing as dramatic as that. It's just that I found out today they chose this cafe as a venue because those VR players share some sort of superstition or urban legend. They believe that drinking coffee before playing a VR game improves their skill. <laughs> They're not throwing us into a coffee-making minigame right off the bat now, are they? And yeah, I'm going to have to look into the... Oh, Jesus. Look at the NPCs. I'm going to have to look into the settings a little bit, see if I can maybe lower the graphical, the graphic settings a little bit so OBS doesn't explode when too many NPCs are on screen. Temporarily you found, they look efficient, I'm really sorry, we are open but I can't serve you. Instead, I need to ask you for a favor. I serve the customers who dine in here, meanwhile could you help me serve to the completed orders to the customers waiting in line? Is that... No, you just need to talk to them. Dude, honestly, even with the character models for the NPCs... Yeah, these look pretty damn good. Maybe even a step above to what they've been doing for Star Rail. You know, no wonder the game is heavier. And no wonder the game is 50 gigabytes no matter. Uh, despite not having a proper open world.
Uh, different drinks are available at the coffee shop every day, however, you are only able to purchase one drink each day. The drink grants battery charge and various buffs. Here are some of the available basic buffs. Increase the drop rate of agent promotion, increases the drop rate of agent skill upgrade, increases the drop rate of W engine modification. Okay, that's all stuff we haven't really seen just yet. How about a cup of joe? A little bitterness can make life sweetness all the more satisfying. You can find the effects listed here. Ah, <laughs> they gave it another animation. Ah, oh, that's cute. Attack certification skill drop increased by 100%. Effective in combat simulation for one enemy cards. Uh, that sounds like a material farming stage, but we haven't unlocked material farming stages just yet. Check out the menu, you name it, I make it. <laughs> yeah, the other is the food one. Okay, you're back, I haven't heard anything from Nekomata yet, but a package was just delivered to the store, he had random play written on it. I opened it, it's a VR game console, did you buy it? Yes, we didn't. The association is trying to recruit new members by building a home testing console for VR gaming. How are we supposed to use this device? Let's see. We can choose adversaries in this game, they are all enemies we might encounter in the hollows. Guess we can practice in this game specifically against enemies we find tough. Ooh, that's nice. Reminder, this device has been integrated into the home terminal category. If we have enough enemy data on the future, I will be able to customize a new training model for you. In other words, you can use it to select enemies for training and increase the different types of enemies. Oh yeah, this is where we farm for materials. And of feels like Persona. Hey Marcelo, welcome, how are things going? You can view the enemy cards you already own here. Here are the enemy cards that have placed into your lineup. Enemy cards may be added in the same lineup more than once. Identical enemy cards increases the difficulty of combat. Try removing enemy cards from your lineup. Your choice will impact the battery charges used. Please build your own enemy card lineup and try and clear the challenge. Okay, there's five in here. Arabuti, Hati, Goblin, Armored Hati and Arloon. Uh, 300 battery cost. We should have more than enough. And do this keep changing? A fire drill, blitz drill, anomaly drill. I guess they change with the they change the type of rewards they give. Now let's go with this one first. It shouldn't really matter. Stay 
standing by. Need some Stop. nothing to fear. The cunning here is I have two guns, so double the accuracy. Oh god, this stage is killing all the S though. Yeah, I'll need to figure something out for this damn streaming platform. Because again, my game is actually running smoothly. It's just OBS that's overloading. At your command. Electric charge. I'm here. Feel the power of starlight. Moving up. Andy, fall back. I got you. This won't hurt. Not. Move over. Back to the real show. Back. Oh, there's multiple waves. Now looks like at least farming material stages is going to be a little bit easy like this. They just stack up multiple ways one after the other. Uh, by the way, any thoughts of their English dub? Personally not a fan uh, not a fan in all games and anime style games, only exception is Arknights. I don't know, I think it's been fine so far. To be honest, I've never been a big fan either. Usually when there's anime games, they like to keep the dub in Japanese. But I haven't heard anything too uh, egregiously bad. Keep practicing in VR trading to hone your combat skills. Uh, free training lets you create and practice combat builds. Agent Academy lets you specialize. Ooh, fantastic tutorials! You can practice combat here. And available agents. Mm, why just available agents, damn you?
A, press A to dodge, the character is invulnerable while dodging. After multiple uses, the dodge will go into a, into a briefly cooldown period. When your character is about to be attacked, press dodge to launch a perfect dodge and become invulnerable for a short period of time. When you trigger perfect dodge, immediately press attack to launch a dodge counter. The character is invulnerable while using these skills. Typically, dodge counter deals high damage and interrupts the enemy, enemy action. Okay, this is similar to Honka Impact, it just has an extra mechanic on top of it. Uh, do we need to take this down to finish the tutorial? Honestly, combat feels really damn good. Really, <laughs> really good. And this is just for the dodges. The one I can't really get behind is the perfect counters. But again, maybe it's just because it's the first few hours, because I'm a little bit confused as to when to properly swap characters. Uh, certain enemy attacks have a flashing prompt. When the flashing prompt is gold, press switch to switch to the next agent and launch a perfect assist. Perfect assist costs assist points based on the attack strength and character properties. Launching a chain attack ultimate generates one third assist points. After perfect assist is activated, press attack immediately to trigger an assist follow up. Under certain condition circumstances, activating perfect assist will temporarily turn your screen black and white during the assist, during which assist follow up cannot be executed. Perfect assist come into two varieties, defense, parry enemies, inflicting a significant amount of days and interrupting most attacks, evasing assists, enabling you to dodge enemy attacks with and trigger vital view, during which all enemy actions are significantly slowed. Oh, they have witch time in here! Defensive assist and evasive assist are each suited to countering different types of attacks. When you run out of assist points or when off-field characters, perfect assist types do not meet the trigger condition, perfect assist will become unavailable. In that case, the golden prompt will become red instead. Oh, that was it was. I've seen that happen a couple of times. Just means I didn't have points to use then. This one I missed. Michael, it's never 
<laughs> that ultimate is just too damn cute. Last hit. You're cleared with an ultimate. Fantastic. Uh, target launch assist for lock attack three times. Hold on. After a successful perfect assist, press attack. Or I have no idea what that button is. For a follow up. Oh, okay. It's not a single attack, it's triple. <clears throat> Come on, that's one. the mission condition, we just need to kill this thing now. Oh, not to mention, these are the ultimate attacks for the 4-star characters. I think Nekomata might be the first 5-star one. And we've seen how much better hers is. Don't worry, it's gonna hurt a lot. 
There we go. Kind of long when it comes to tutorials, but still, at least they let you get enough practice down. Next are the anomalies, which are basically debuffs. Dealing at 3 damage to enemies also accumulates anomaly buildup. Upon reaching a certain amount of anomaly buildup, the enemy will be afflicted with the corresponding, corresponding attribute anomaly. The effect of the attribute anomaly is related to the agents who inflict the anomaly buildup and their contribution. So this one triggers shock. But I don't see a meter, I don't see a counter. I just see the enemy getting shocked. Alright, the shock is supposed to interrupt and deal more damage to robotic enemies. Eliminating target. Applying another type of attribute anomaly to an enemy that's already been afflicted be by one overrides the original and causes the disorder effect. The disorder effect is calculated based on the original anomaly dealing additional damage and accumulating days. Okay, so basically you want to stick with a character until they've dealt their anomaly damage or they've inflicted their anomaly disorder, then swap to someone else to inflict their anomaly disorder. I'm here! Quit moving! Are we just going to stay here? There's the disorder. Oh no, this attack, not this attack! <laughs> Damn these assholes! That's the same attack from the Ring Guards in Genshin Impact. I haven't seen that thing since, I don't know, two years ago. Okay, that's the disorder. And that was 600 extra damage from the shock. Uh, Billy doesn't seem like it's that fast to apply these orders though. I'm here. There's our shock. And there's our assault disorder. 800 damage extra from this shock alone. Nice. Billy, go do some repairs. 
my turn. Starlight Knights, Copy that. That was another thousand damage extra from the disorder. Jesus. Billy, go do some repairs. Okay, yeah, that's definitely one of the ways to go about it. And I guess that makes sense if you don't have a proper rotation. You just go from disorder to disorder to keep increasing the damage those disorders deal. Uh, sounds like a bit complicated unless you can do it in the game. Also screw those guards. <laughs> Well, there had to be something, because they couldn't put in the um, elemental reactions from Genshin Impact. Uh, Star Rail has their own break system with extra damage over time effects, and Honkai has the buffs and debuffs on rotation. They had to do something to have a bit more of a unique combat system, or at least give you a, an excuse to switch between characters. I guess going for this sort of break damage, extra breaks, is one way to go about it. Now we need to see if the character tutorials are similar to Honkai Impact 3rd, or if they just let us try something. Character intro, MB, after the third hit of her basic attack, hold down or pause for a short while and then press attack. Basic attack button, not use basic attack, thunderbolt dealing electro damage. They have combo pauses. Oh, this reminds me of one of the first Red and May battle suits. Look at this. She charges the blade a little bit and then strikes with lightning. Ah, that's cute. That's a very big <laughs> That's a very big callback too. Jesus. After the third hit of the normal attack, press the special attack button to activate the special attack more quickly or press the EX special to activate the enhanced special and deal more electric damage. When she uses the basic attack Thunderbolt, special attack or EX after the third hit, increase days, even more stun. Okay, trying characters like this, definitely the way to go because <laughs> i was just mashing attack i would have never figured that figured this out by myself ojime battle suit yeah either the ojime battle suit or the striker fulminata Yeah, he's on this guy. Oh, <laughs> 
my sights. Okay, we're going for the break first. One thing I'm not seeing is the elemental application from Nicole. There's the corruption, fantastic. Jesus Christ, how much HP do they have to have these th do they have to give these things? Okay, let's move on forward. Oh, that's dailies. Uh, check out schedule, daily activities. When you meet the requirements, you can claim everything. It's the exact same daily system that they put into Star Rail and Honka Impact. Genshin seems to be a little bit different. Uh, Genshin, you have the four dailies to do. Here is just login, get a coffee. <laughs> Do the scratch card and open the video store for business. Uh, quick menu, settings, input, settings. Okay, let's see what's going on with Nekomata. No news just yet, but even if she took a different exit, she should be in, in touch with us by now. 
<laughs> Meow. I'm back, finally out of the outlaw. Sorry for, making, sorry for making you guys worry about me. Anyhow, I'll speed over to the video store right now. See you at the store. All oh, right, now that we're done with some of the... There's even more options down here. Ready for combat. Uh, we should be able to get these characters up to 20. Standing by. Nothing to fear. The cunning hairs are here. Except for her. Needs Starlight, it's time to shine. Uh, looks like the materials go up. Uh, they go up in rank depending on the... Uh, depending on the character things too. So just like Star Rail, just like Genshin, that's going to be hell to farm. Anxious. But before we try to rescue the others, we have to talk. Uh, what's going on? Why the sudden change in tone? The hair on my ears is standing up. Nekomata, this is important, so we want you to be honest. What kind of trouble did you and the cunning hairs get yourselves into exactly? Didn't the news say the train was transporting explosives? Why would it be carrying a bunch of fake pubsec officers? And you reacted so quickly to the enemy. Not like something Can't escape the farm? Apparently not. Not only that, this has a similar weapon to system honest, to Honkai Star Rail. So you you're going to have to us? farm for weapon levels and weapon no. uncapped materials. Uh, and it looks like if you want each character support, has six slots my sister, around that weapon and tell us what where you hiding. can put relics or artifacts in. Pretty sure they're going to have a different I name. Really but I'm still pretty sure it's going to be random stats. I've seen guys dressed like that somewhere else. But you're totally right. The cunning hairs and I are in big trouble this time. But we just wanted to save people. You never mentioned this before. That's because it's so ridiculous. I didn't even think I could explain it. We were so busy trying to Is it just me or does this guy look like Kevin? To be fair, Kevin has a bit of a generic face, but I still wouldn't put it past uh, Hoyo to copy-paste a few things here and there. The recording from earlier today, let's ask that AI assistant fairy or whatever to retrieve it. I won't say much more, once you've seen the facts, you can make your own call on whether to believe me or not. God, I hate Genshin's RT system so much. Yeah, same here. here. Uh, first I time I've seen that sort of artifact in. system was in Summoner's War. Hey, and even that, it was hell. Absolute hell. Is every raid that you could Especially farm Billy. to get your you runes, totally it had two or three different ones. But basically... We need to get Since to the it Red had Bank a set that gave you a 20% chance to get an extra turn, almost like every character in that game quiet. needed that violent set. Because it was turn-based, and that on. little bit of random chance is what allow you to basically <laughs> win fights. If you get 20% proc, you won. Uh, they've done something similar in Epic 7 as well. It's just it's that, as far as I remember, here. Epic 7 doesn't have a violent set, 
with the 20% chance to get an extra turn. Looks like the dead end butcher has been here. It's just that it's the exact same thing. You need to grind your ass off That's for a very small chance at the Since top tier here, artifacts, relics, runes, whatever. Because if you don't have those, you Will basically you can't go forward. Suggest another way to the Red Bank Gang's base? Yeah, I can find another route. I know you're anxious to find your family heirloom, but this is no normal mission. Safety first, as they say. Yeah! What? What's wrong? You sound like someone stepped on your tail. <laughs> Over there! I saw a little kid from past just now! Huh? What are you talking about? You know we're in the dead end hollow, right? There have been cases of by mistake. But the direction it wasn't just 20%. It, it was 20% and then it could hey, proc again after back. you got the extra turn. I really did see there were some but cases in which you saw the enemy damage game. dealer just go attack, violent proc, Ooh, attack, violent proc, Maybe attack. Really and one of your units would just disappear like that, no matter how tanky you made them. I should remind you, this is not what we And this is a do. game that still makes millions every what single month. To not to mention, not it had a, so a physical a live tournament. <laughs> and players are counting there. I think the cheapest cool one was in the 200k US dollars. About not getting paid. Don't be. I'm not like you. I'll pay you extra for looking for the girl. <sighs> <sighs> I didn't expect you to not be a bad person. Oh, uh huh? Oh, that had me scared just now. Oh, when she pointed out the child, I really thought her next line was gonna be, forget the kid, I want my family heirloom. <laughs> but this kitty's a kind employer. If you really are determined to save the girl, Nekomata, then I'll go with you. Eppie! You should at least ask me when it comes to commission fees. <sighs> Guess it can't be helped. But I agree, we can't just leave a kid in a place like this. A kid's aptitude for ether is underdeveloped, and she can't save herself. Every minute spent in the hollow is dangerous, not to mention the dead-end butcher is around here somewhere. Uh, to be honest, I would rather I rather like the Honkai Impact 3 Stigmata Small. Ooh, especially now that they've made them really, really easy to get. Uh, oh, coming. Uh, looks like gearing up characters right hey, now, the hardest part is going to be the weapon. Whereas Stigmata, oh, there are Why only the Stigmatas for that character in a gear banner, and they even have pretty high draw chances as well. signs of them on the way over yeah honestly i've been Still, a pretty big fan of what they've done her. with onkai impact even though the power creep keeps power creeping Yes, apparently the new unit, Thelma, completely kills all of the other ice damage dealers. And after Thelma, we're going to get another, I think it's called Lantern. That's going to be a fire damage dealer. And all the new teams are basically just going to be 
one of the two, uh, three new damage dealers alongside Helia and the little doggy. Why is it always the cat that sees her? I know cat tyrants have better vision than normal people, but my visual components are pretty good too. Hey, do you all think there are more and more claw marks around here? We've been coming across stronger ethereals too. Now that you mention it, we can't keep going like this. How can we save anyone when we're in danger ourselves? We need a plan. Nekomata, are you sure you saw her? Why is it every time you see her, we find nothing? The hollow changes so quickly. By the time we've gone over, things have already warped. It's not my fault. If we want to catch her, you guys just need to keep up. Negative. We don't have the physical advantages when it comes to running like you do. In our current situation, we should reserve our energy to escape if we encounter the dead end butcher. Oh. I want to see What's this dead end butcher. I want to fight you this dead end butcher. I love when gigantic comes, bosses. I can't wait shows. until we meet it. That's not true. Really? Then you mean you aren't confident in your abilities? I'll pretend I didn't hear that. If I get serious. Even Billy using his fuel reserves can't beat me. I can't pretend I didn't hear that too, Amby. No problem then. We'll just run after the girl from now on. I'm more than happy to. What? Wait. Isn't anyone gonna ask my opinion? The power creep. Part two really pushing some busted units. Also, Apome when even. I'm not sure they're going to release Apome as playable. Maybe the next time we get an update for Post Sonkai Odyssey. But God knows when that's going to happen. Also, is there really nothing around the maps? Does the areas look pretty damn good? And well designed as well. It's just strange that there are no treasures and nothing to pick up. From the looks of it, we're already deep within the Dead End Hollow. <laughs> Look at I those spots! Pooped. We've been running for so long! You guys have pretty good stamina. Weren't you the one who said the only way to catch up with the kid was to run? Now you're the first at to At this complain. point, I can be delusional and treat oh, Acheron God. as Apple May. Nah, Acheron is way too <laughs> okay, depressed. Okay, everyone just take a break. We'll keep looking in a minute. On second thought, this area is Honestly, Acheron just needs so to find her own Kiana. <laughs> How did a kid get in? Uh, uh, maybe she got lost when her family was being evacuated. If it's like that movie, only a ghost would appear in such a place. Yes, again, the her way things went on on Acheron's planet, it makes that feel trap. like the old uh, era, th th uh, previous no era. such thing as g g g ghosts. And don't do movie promos at a it's time just like that this. they didn't have Elisha to don't save worry. the planet. If a ghost attacks, so it ended everyone. up the way it ended up. Really? Can you guys not say stuff like that? Right. I feel better now. Let's get going. Huh? Wait a sec. It's a kid! Over there! Don't run! Wait for us! Huh? Wait. That can't be right. There That's not the kid. Really is a kid in a dead end hollow. You were lying. 
the hell? Hurry faster. We gotta keep moving. The girl's just up ahead. Yep, strangely nothing hidden around. <laughs> Look at this thing. <laughs> Look at this thing with the mini gun. <laughs> Don't wait for her to find her Kiana, Keep be her Kiana close, slash kiddo. Kevin. Nah, may may needs to have her Kiana. <laughs> it's okay. Everything's fine. It must be scary being lost in a hollow all by yourself, right? That's don't one worry. of those characters you I'm don't really now. ship or you can't really <laughs> ship with anyone else. What are you talking about? Wait, what? Huh? You saved me? I saved you! Oh, why are you wandering around that monster's territory? If I hadn't led you here, you'd have walked right into it! Huh? What do you mean? If it weren't for you guys, I might have found the Hollow's exit back to New Eridu by now. I think I can hear something. What's that? What's going on? Uh, an ethereal? And it's a big one. A real big one. Th that's the dead end butcher? He's a lot b b b bigger than I expected. It's catching up. Anyway, almost what? midnight got us sleep. Hey, what? have a nice night and thanks for dropping by. It's almost 7 p.m. in here. I think I'm going to call it for a day soon, too. But still, this has been pretty damn fun. Pretty risky, but cool landing. It's okay. Oh, 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 oh. I, uh, I almost got a concussion. I didn't expect to get out of the hollow like this. Nicole. Uh, seriously, why is every single commission such a struggle? N Nicole. Nekomata, considering the circumstances, don't you think we deserve a bonus? Nicole! <laughs> Poor guy. I hear you! I've barely been sitting on you for a minute. Stop complaining. That should have been no, me, not him. That, that. Look in front of you. Oh god, I was worried that he was huh? about to say, you're heavy. But if he goes, Nicole, you're heavy, he's going to have to build an entire Is new head for himself. Canvas Street? Then these people are... Wait. This is the blast zone. It was supposed to be cleared. Why are there so many people? Huh? 
How many are there? Over a hundred at least. Me and Ambi only did a rough count of whoever was willing to come out to speak to us. There could be even more. I thought that Vision said they cleared everyone out days ago. They say they don't know what's going on. They haven't been able to contact anyone on the outside for a week. I'm guessing Vision has set up jamming devices. Yeah, so what is this? When exactly is Vision planning to evacuate everyone? He's not. Children, you must be coming from oh the god, city. the NPC's animation though. That's Excuse scary. <laughs> Especially you? when compared to everyone else. Oh, the little girl you just saved from the hollow is my granddaughter. Thank you for rescuing her. She's always been naughty. She thinks she can sneak into the hollow safely just because she's got ether aptitude. Yesterday, because a public security officer wouldn't tell her the exact time, she came up with an idea to go to New Eridu and ask around. I took my eyes off of her for one second and she ran into the hollow. Um, excuse me, an officer? Did you say an officer came by? Yes, that's right. Yesterday, my granddaughter and a few neighbors got tired of waiting. And about as bad as a Bethesda game. <laughs> yeah, but that is an NPC that you see maybe once or there. twice. They said nobody could get through because Bethesda game, that's the basic. Nearby. And once things were ready, a train would be coming for us. It's Most honestly a little bit jarring. Old, sick, and disabled. Other than my granddaughter, none of us have any aptitude for ether, so we can't go anywhere. We were told to wait, so that's all we can do. But it doesn't make sense. Yes, it How does. Vision wants to build a new building in here, in and it's just going to everyone bomb everyone and I get rid of his homeless problem like this. Being involved in the project before. Miss, you mean to say that public security officer who stopped the residents is suspicious? There has to be more to it than this. I remember them saying Vision Corporation won the bid thanks to uh, a It much is low after the good cost. animation from the game this bad I one get really it. hits. The Metro renovation project is one of the most talked about big projects well, yeah, just in New Look how much it's stuff goes on in the portrait demanded, of the two playable characters. The but if Vision just dealt with the residents uh, even if they are the standing still, there's still all sort of stuff moving about. So, what you're saying is Vision has just abandoned us all here? Vision always wanted to perform well enough to enter tops, but I never thought they'd stoop so low for a seat at the table. No, we can't let Vision get away with this! <sighs> Nicole, what do you plan to do now? Uh, I didn't expect this when I took on the commission. Fine, sure. We came into the Dead End Hollow looking for something, and yeah, saving a kid along the way is a good thing, but... Oh, a small, odd job agency can't take on a massive corporation. Get so, a commission to find a lost heirloom, end up overthrowing well, the government. Say, boss, but Anby... I didn't expect to agree with Nekomata on this matter. I'm staying. I understand Nicole's thinking. But I can't follow this time. This is my chance. I won't make the same mistake again. Is that so? Going against a corporation. At least it's just a beta. This looks like the stuff they will iron out you, later. Really? Honestly, I don't really mind. Like, the it's one small they detail. It's not something that happens life. often. Just think of the money we can It's one of the of very last to things them. to fix, if that is Quickly, even considered Nelly, a problem. Nelly, go tell each of these gold nuggets, uh, I mean victims, that the cunning hairs are willing to represent them in their lawsuit for compensation. Don't just stand uh, so there. far, we haven't to run into any game-breaking bugs. One one. Outside of the game being a little bit heavy and I killing OBS, things have been running very smoothly. <laughs> Uh, if they were to release the game in this state, I don't think people would be complaining. You know the area and you're the most agile. Here, take my bangboo. I 
want you to take it someplace and get help. And that's where we come in. All oh, right, okay, one thing I would love to see them add would be mouse support. Because running around menus vocals. just with a controller has My been a little bit uncomfortable. After leaving the others, I went back through the dead end hollow and came straight to your store. Really, I'm not lying! Nicole and everyone else in the blast zone are in grave danger! Please, Faithen, you have to help me save them! We believe you, Nekomata. But as professional proxies, we have to warn you of the risks involved. Right. In saving all the residents, we'll inevitably come to blows with the Vision Corporation. Yeah, you don't need to tell me that! I made up my mind ever since I left! All I can think about now is getting everyone out of the blast zone! <sighs> okay. If the client has made up her mind, there's nothing more to say. Well then, let's work on a rescue plan. Take a look at this map. The Cunning Hares and the residents are trapped at the Canvas Street Station, which is several kilometers away from the surveillance point where Pearlman's located. But to keep the trapped residents in check, he's transported a number of armed mercenaries pretending to be public security by train. Speaking of which, the train that we delayed earlier is almost at its destination, so there'll be even more people to guard the residents. We're not strong enough to face them head on, but perhaps we can take advantage of holes in the enemy's defense. Yeah? What does that mean? Look, those trapped residents have no ether aptitude, so the mercenaries don't expect anyone coming from behind. With everyone guarding the front, the surveillance point should be relatively unguarded. That makes sense. We can go around behind them through the hollow and catch them off guard. Yeah, good idea! And then? Then, we quickly hijack the train at the surveillance point and go through the hollow to the Canvas Street Station. As long as the residents get to the station platform in advance, we can have everyone out of the blast zone in minutes. How clever! The train itself has some resistance to corruption, so as long as we get them out of the hollow quickly, they will get affected! Yeah! Hey, Fairy, can you drive the train out of the hollow and into New Eridu as quickly as possible? Affirmative. I have already mapped out the shortest route. No time to waste. Let's get started then. Nekomata, take this bangboo. Go find Nicole and tell her the plan. Then... Right! Then, it's crunch time! Nekomata has departed for the hollow. You should log into the HDD system if you're ready. Don't worry, I'll do my best to support you. Together, we are the Unstoppable Fion. Uh, looks like there's an account level system too, but I haven't really seen anything about that. Yes, this is the main story quest. And it goes on at all times of day. Apparently there's going to be different quests that go on at different times of day too. Uh, proxy Primer in progress, this is the current mission. New upgrades, agents and W engines can be upgraded from 10 to 20. Combat simulations, solo zero, reckless charge and rally commission will be unlocked soon. Hey, and at 13 we're going to get another 200. These are basically primo gems. Uh, these should be extra commissions, but it doesn't look like it's something I can pick up right now. So maybe they will be unlocked later on. Because there's a lot of them too. Uh, 
and what's this? Upgrade ground plan, maximum premium plan. Oh, this is the... must be the battle pass. L230 and claim the Great Builder Certificate to select any of the W engines in the City Funds benefit. Uh, looks like this is going to be the exact same thing as both Genshin and Star Rail. You get the Battle Pass, once you buy the Premium Battle Pass you can get some of the weapons uh, from it, exclusive weapons. Yeah, standard battle pass gives you standard banner rolls, premium battle pass gives you premium draws. It's basically the exact same thing. <laughs> they left something untranslated here. Guess that's for details. Base attack and crit trait. At least when it comes to this sort of upgrades and quality of life stuff, I think they kind of nailed it when it comes to Star Rail, so it's good to see these things coming back. And be here. I've got the last few signatures. Thanks. No, I should be thanking you. But when is the young lady you sent for help coming back? She You're right. I hope she didn't run into trouble. Ah, uh, we're they here. Have gotten the drop on us, but we already have a solution. That voice. It's the proxy. Sorry to keep everyone waiting. Uh, you and the Komata recount everything that happened. I see. So you planned to stop the demolition by blocking the train, but you didn't expect to find a bunch of vision reinforcements. Huh, this means vision is at the point of no return. They'll do whatever it takes to stop the residents from getting out. But the proxy's plan to seize the train could work. <laughs> it's true what they say about Faithen's wisdom and courage. Ma'am, you've heard our plan. Now we have something to ask of you. We need you to get all the residents together at the platform nearby. Don't worry, I'll tell them. When the time comes, they'll be there. Right. By the way, there was an old Red Fang Gang base in the hollow somewhere around here. Have you heard of it? What's with the abrupt change of topic? Why do you want to know all of a sudden? Nekomata's commission fee. Uh, uh, I mean, we still haven't found her family heirloom. I thought maybe the residents here might know something. I know the place. Everyone around here knows the Red Fang Gang. <laughs> Is that so? Yes. Since they made their name on Canvas Street, Everyone here is related to them one way or another. In the early days, they weren't what they are now. Back then, they took in lots of orphans, taught them to read and defend themselves. They often stood up for those in need. They said they'd protect this place forever. Unfortunately, a few years passed and that silver boy changed. He looked down on the slums and led the gang to do some awful things. As things got worse, many in the gang couldn't stand to see what it had become. Many of them left the gang. Soon after, the Red Fang Gang moved out of here. We don't want anything to do with the Red Fang Gang anymore. Silver fell into the hollow while being chased by public security. He only has himself to blame. Huh? What did you say? What's the matter, young lady? We want nothing to do with them. What's wrong with that? No, not that! You said Silver fell into the hollow being chased by the Pubsec? Wasn't he killed by the Cunning Hairs? Uh, well, uh, about that... <laughs> 
Ahem. Little kitten. <laughs> uh, I mean, Miss Client, you can understand, right? We yeah, random freak or steal publicity. <laughs> with those big, cute eyes, we just couldn't. We're sorry. We were there, but it was public security that did it. So I mean, if you want to go back to talk to voice actors, I think the VA for Billy is going Don't to be all out. Even if public security hadn't intervened, he was no match for the cunning hairs. Ahem. Even though it was you who got it wrong to begin with, we're somewhat responsible as well. How about we give you a small discount on your family heirloom commission? Uh, anyway, let's put this aside for now. First things first, we have to get that train and evacuate the residents out of here. Okay, let's go. We made it. Vision Corporation has its monitoring station here. The train is also nearby. To avoid alerting anyone, I found a secret way in. And here it is. Okay, there's going to be a couple of combat notes before we can Let's actually move in. Sure, the Starlight Knight's here to punish the bad guys. It has to. It has to work. So we're getting two loud mouth goofy cowboys from Mihoya. <laughs> Looks like that's the case. Uh, even though I haven't really seen much of Gallagher just yet, outside of what we got in the in the main story quest. I don't really like looking at leaks. Okay, no, I'm definitely need to go. Uh, need to do something for OBS. The extra weather is seriously killing this program. <laughs> Not to mention he's so damn corny. <laughs> and most of his character seems to be built around these uh, Starlight Night anime. And he keeps on quoting lines from it. This path's blocked. We can't go this way. <clears throat> uh what's with the bomb though? We can't even bring this uh, bring this back. And we'll likely have to open the path from down here. Let's, Let's see. The secret way, then. Try to sneak over to the monitoring station. Not bad, Faithen. You're so prepared. Yeah, it doesn't look like there's anything I can do here to help. Oh, oh, let's take out the volumetric fog. 
Oh, let's leave the character quality too high. DC is hopefully going to help a bit. That's a big boy. Take out the guards, seize the train, and head on out. Roger that. <laughs> what at least this, Andy? Uh, I think the pressure is getting to Ambi. Yeah, that was she a little bit out of mine. character. But still, no, read MQ. I'm guessing she's humming background music to match the atmosphere. Enough with the soundtrack, Ambi. Everyone knows how important this next fight is. Proxy, we'll leave driving the train to you. How are preparations on your side? I've only got a driver's license, but I'll try my best. Don't worry, Master. I'll give you detailed instructions. Then, let's go! We'll catch them off guard! Everything's going according to plan. Great. The route seems to be going well. Uh, what? And I'm seeing that he's talking on the early chapters. Oh yeah, they've done this pretty damn nice thing, giving MC a proper voice. So even once you pick your character line, the MC just speaks it out. Uh oh, an enemy attack! Come on, let's make oh, and these quick. guys throw grenades. Beat them down, get out of the hollow, and find the train. Easy target, perfect. In my sights. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
right? Yeah, we're definitely going to need some characters that can just bring enemies together. That is one of the best ways to deal with ranged units. Standing by. The pleasure's all yours. Easy target. Perfect. Oh, come on, I'm pretty sure dodge that one. A few minutes later, at Vision Surveillance Point in front of the train. Why would the CEO be here? Heartless piece of garbage! Give it up! Nekomata, take him with us. Envy and Billy have gone to the driver's compartment. Proxy, let the residents know to be waiting at the platform. You, you, you plan to use the train to transport the residents? No way! Absolutely not! They get out, they'll talk to the press, and Vision and I will be done for! I, I don't care what it takes, just stop this thing at once! Warning, the planned route has been disconnected. Railroad damage from small explosives detected. Plan failed. What? Nicole, this isn't good! Something happened to the tracks! No way! D Director Perlman, sir, don't worry. I've blown up the only railroad route leading to New Eridu. They can't get out. No way! You... you fool! You <laughs> well, now you can't get out either. After we've evacuated! Look what you've done! The residents can't get out, but now neither can we! Nicole, this isn't good. Enemy reinforcements have surrounded us. What should we do? Take the pipsqueak. Let's pull back into the train first. Come in, Director Perlman. Unknown intruders attack near the train. We've suffered some losses. But rest assured, in terms of numbers and supplies, we maintain the advantage. The intruders retreated into the train. Please advise, should we begin an all-out assault? <laughs> Director Perlman, requesting orders. Don't, don't storm in! I'm inside! These bastards! I mean, the ladies and gentlemen from the Cunning Hands have me trapped in here! Stop no poor guy, he was too dedicated to the cause to notice. If the guard, alarmed, maybe. The will but Pearlman here, he was about to blow up over a hundred people, so... This dude has his uses after all. He's going they to get whatever it comes to him. But unfortunately, we can't go anywhere either. Right. The tracks are gone. And even with the train, we can't get everyone out of the hollow now. Is it... is it the end of the line? <laughs> hey! Now isn't the time to be laughing? No, I wasn't laughing at you. I happened to find it. During the fighting. My family heirloom. Oh. Oh That's no. You with Wait, that's Silver, from the Red Fang Gang. That's right, I lied to you. I'm not the Red Fang Gang's enemy, but one of the orphans who used to live near Canvas Street that they So adopted. she got into the commission in the, the hopes Red to get Fang them Gang killed down here. They all wanted to protect their home. But as you've heard, eventually things got bad, and I broke away from the gang. They haven't been back since. No matter how disappointed I was, 
in the Red Fang Gang. Silver took me in. The Red Fang Gang was the closest I ever had to a family. After hearing you led Silver into the Hollow and killed him, I came into the Dead End Hollow looking for revenge. How lucky do you have to get to accidentally you your exactly way out of a revenge plot? What I expected. Not only did you save the kid, you even stayed without a single complaint after hearing a vision's plan. And now that I know Silver's death wasn't your fault, I have no reason to want revenge. The Red Fang Gang betrayed their promise and abandoned the people they were supposed to protect. As a former member of the gang, I can't let that happen again. I've made up my mind. <laughs> I'm gonna go negotiate with Vision. Don't worry. With Pearlman as a bargaining chip, plus my identity as a member of the Red Fang Gang, things will work out. Miss Quiet! Nakamata! Hey! Come back! At least work out a plan first. Nakamata! Nakamata! Envy! Billy! Open the door! We can't, boss! It's too tough. Perlman's people must so here is where they sent all the dudes in charge of the Honka Impactor manga and visual novels. There are people talking outside. Honestly, big fan of the comic books in here. It's a very nice way to not just have random cutscenes. And they can deploy, I mean, uh, they can depict whatever they want without working on in-game cutscenes. And we get away from the Genshin dialogue stuff. So, if you don't want anything bad to happen to your boss, you better find him an anti-corruption device. And the fastest route through the hollow! Nicole! Everyone's counting on you! We did it! We're out! Son of a... Getting through the door took too long. Nekomana and Perlman have already gone into the hollow. Barry, I need to know Nekomata's location. Client location found. Based on her current route, she will be arriving at the hollow exit in 30 minutes. So we've got no yes, on top of these, there's also no little animations, little cutscenes, but they're if done the so damn nicely. So they're really well animated. It's honestly shocking. But our plan with the train failed, so how are we going to get the residents out? They don't have any uh, the story so far has been very Aww. sort of light. There was a way to give corruption resistance to everyone at once. Uh, not really all that interesting. But the way it's presented, it's honestly a really big step up compared to the other Hoyo games. Hey, Bell, I just thought of something. It might just be ludicrous enough to work. Huh? What do you mean? Nicole, Canvas Street and New Eridu aren't that far apart as the crow flies. It's getting through the dead end hollow that takes so long. If we can shrink the hollow and gain access to the exposed roads, we can get the residents out in one go. Yeah, then there's a chance. We're good at taking out ethereals. But to reduce the size of the hollow, we'd have to eliminate approximately 3,000 of them. <laughs> Under certain circumstances, the ether activity of certain giant individuals can reach or even exceed the equivalent of thousands of your standard ethereals. You've probably guessed by now. I mean, the dead end butcher. Th th that massive guy? He's too big, however you look at it. If something goes wrong, I will get to see Monica tomorrow night. <sighs> we certainly aren't a match for it alone. But don't forget, Vision left quite a few weapons lying around. We could help ourselves to some of their ether explosives. So that's it. We use the explosives. Oh, and it looks like lowering the settings a little bit also got rid of it's the like OBS chugging crazy idea. during these cutscenes. But we don't have time to think about it. Let's get to work.
Uh, hopefully a little bit more fine tuning is also going to help with the combat. Okay. The new plan involves using Vision's explosives. All their stock should be in here. Okay, that's what those were. Suggestion, transport it with a vehicle. Good idea. Let's load the explosives onto the train. Valve status analyzed. This lock is not smart tech. Oh, 2.5. Fantastic. Well, well. What a pleasant surprise. There's heaps of treasure. Okay, that's the second one loaded. Uh, third one was a bit far though. And I'm going to have to do the exact same thing. Warning, Nefumia Mana's biosignal detected. What? Where is she? The target is carrying Pearlman. The target is about to reach the hollow exit. What's going on here? How did Director Pearlman get tied up by a little girl? I don't know. Have you seen but how big Director Pearlman is? And the troops defending the blast area had to listen to her demands and pull out. She says she wants to see the person in charge here, so Miss Sarah has stepped in to negotiate. You're the person in charge? My request is simple. I'll return him to you as soon as Vision stops the demolition and gets the residents out. Easy for you to say. If we do as you say and it turns into a scandal, how are we supposed to explain things to the public? And who are you exactly? You aren't worried about negotiating with us on your own? Oops. Forgot to introduce myself. I'm Nekomi Omana. But you can call me Nekomara. I won't lie. I'm actually from the Red Fang Gang. The, the Red Fang Gang? That's right. I said I would negotiate. So I brought the proper bargaining chips. The remnant of the Red Fang Gang. And a subordinate of the late Miguel Silver. Who took residents of the old capital as hostages. And violently obstructed construction. The bandit leader. Neko Miyamana, captured by the Vision Corporation. How's that? Sound good to you? You mean to sacrifice yourself? How noble. Noble? <laughs> I'm just a stray animal who's lost her home. I don't belong anywhere anymore, so it would seem fitting. How about it? As long as you contact the media now... And tell the public. Uh, I thought things were about to get to take a turn worry. for the He's worse. Dead. The syringe contains an experimental anesthetic. Let me give you some advice. Verify the value of your bargaining chip before you bring it to the table. Unfortunately, Mr. Perlman is not as useful to us as you might think. We have to hurry. Split into two groups and carry out the original plan. We're going to stall the dead-end butcher, right? Yeah. Lure it to the target location. Leave the explosives trained to us. Got it. We'll get going then.
Okay, let's get the train moving. We've got control of the train. I hope things go well for Nicole and the others. Out here. Are we sure that big guy's really around? Not sure about the big guy. Plenty of little guys, though. It must be hiding somewhere. Big boss fight coming right up. Huh? The beasties are running away. Almost here. The monster? The theme song. What? The bad guy's theme always plays before the final battle. <laughs> Don't worry, Andy. I've mastered all the rules for a surefire win from the Starlight Knights! You gotta break the rules when fighting bad guys. Open things up with a flying kick! Take them out in less than 10 seconds and they won't even have time to play their theme song! Behind you. And this is what I was talking about with the almost overly animated cutscenes. predictions were unprotected! You big dummy! The only thing they'd be playing for you are the credits! Don't tell me this guy's a fan of the Starlight Knights too! Now that's an intro. This one won't go down easily. You know, I kind of regret this. Billy, concentrate. Uh, still just a single just health bar, though. Just proxy gets here and we win. Careful. Let me give you a little treat. Like this. Easy target! Perfect! Just leave it to me! Confirmed. No point ready! Starlight Garage! And it might actually be gone. Well, that wasn't so bad. I was expecting the fight to last a lot longer. Oh. Oh no. Oh hell no. Okay, never mind. I take that back. What the hell? Just a little longer. They're getting fatigued. For this, just leave it to me. Oh, and this is another one of those enemies with multiple attacks, and it looks like they can't even be interrupted all that easily. Andy! Don't go up! 
feel the power of Starlight. It's showtime! And that's three. Confirmed. No boy ready. Starlight Mirage. Huh. Get away from me. Starlight Knights, assemble. Okay, if boss fights are like this, I'm a fan. I'm a very big fan. Hey, how you feeling? We got a surprise for ya. The train is about to enter the station. Please stand behind the yellow line and board the train in an orderly manner. Barry, you're up. Roger, measuring airborne electrical charge. Billy? Leave it to me! <laughs> Critical voltage in the orb. Nothing? Please, please, please be a lightning strike. Please, a lightning strike. <laughs> that is one way to take out the first boss in the game. Jesus Christ, what a presentation! Not long after, outside the Dead End Hollow, in front of Division Corporation Construction Supervision Area. So Pearlman was just a puppet? You're the one behind the demolition plan! Then let me ask you... Winning the bid at such a low cost and killing all those people! Is the construction project really that important to Vision? That's not something you need concern yourself with. I think that's enough chit-chat. It's time to get down to business. What's that in your hand? This little thing? Huh. The detonation switch for the ether explosives, of course. Wait! No! I deeply regret the loss of any non-existent residents in the blast zone. Everything we do is for our vision. Goodbye. Miss Sarah, reports show a successful blast. Good. Wait! Look! That tunnel leading out of the hollow! Someone's coming out! The Vision Corporation is a disgrace! Down with the Vision Corporation! Vision has the blood of innocent civilians on its hands! You can't silence us this time! Well, would have had, because this was attempted <laughs> murder. <laughs> So you were able to get out of the blast zone? I'm impressed. Do you really think you can expose us? Don't forget, everyone here belongs to us. On my order, open fire. What? How could she? <laughs> the hell? She's serious! What's that sound? This just in! A shocking scandal is developing around the Vision Corporation! After receiving a tip-off, our reporter followed the public security and has now arrived at the site of the Demolition Command Center located near the entrance to the Now, funny to see that all of this started as a simple public commission to just find a lost heirloom. ...number of unidentified individuals posing as law enforcement! Calling Director Sarah! Calling Director Sarah! We're surrounded by public security! 
Hmm. Not just public security. Bellabog Industries is here too. They brought the media. We've lost control of the area. <laughs> I knew Vision wouldn't give up easily. So I contacted Bellabog as we got out of the hollow. As expected of a competitor, they got here real fast. Director Sarah, what should we do? Uh, with what? What do you mean with what? What happened? Where are you? Reporting. All suspects have surrendered. No casualties among the residents. <sighs> the public security says we're safe. I heard they'll get our details soon, and we'll be taken to the station to give statements. <sighs> what? It's you! W what are you doing? I was going to ask what you're doing, sneaking around alone. Didn't you hear the announcement, requesting everyone to the station to make a statement? I guess it's just I, a coincidence uh, that the industry uh, is called Bellabog. So oh, I yeah, people have brought anymore. up the Bellabog thing from Star Rail no too. Way. But yeah, it is just a coincidence. The is guilty. And then there's the cunning Harris. I'm the one who tried to get you killed, right? You've still got to pay your share. Yeah, but that was out of a mistake, so who cares? Your share for dinner, of course. Didn't we say, once we are done with the commission, we'll go out for dinner? You said you didn't want to go to the Starlight Night restaurant, so Billy won't pay for us. And Nicole says she wants a decent meal, so we'll have to split the bill. Wait a second! You guys said you'd treat me for being a generous client! Why do I have to pay all of a sudden? And did anyone ask me my opinion? I never said I'd go! Then consider this a formal invitation. Would you like to come to dinner with us? The proxy siblings are coming too! And it's all you can eat! That's right! All the mackerel you can get your paws on! I... Uh, they announced Lantern on Honka Impact 3 CN. Uh... Uh, didn't that happen later this I... day? Uh, later today? Sorry, earlier today. Then I'll have to think about it. Uh, yeah, sadly I'm still to start the second half of the story in On Came Back 3rd. Something I will have to get to probably next week. Okay, let's see what else is here, if we can do another 10 pool, and then I guess I'll go have dinner. A few days later. Anyway. Thanks to Nekomata's connections within the Red Fang Gang, they won't be coming after us anymore. And I've made progress on what you asked me to investigate. According to the Still gang, need to do the Thelma prologue? The yeah, but apparently the Thelma prologue is going to be permanent came. content. Apparently, Silver received a commission from a mysterious uh, It does have client. some time-limited rewards, but it's going to stay the there forever. But Silver didn't give the gang all the details, like how or to whom they were going to hand over the box, so nobody knows. Slow down. Did I hear you right? No one knows where it came from? Mystery client? Nobody knows the details? Didn't you say you'd made progress? But the Red Fang Gang had no idea about the strong box. Yeah, but that means you get but to keep a super really powerful to AI all to yourselves. And I want to help those poor old residents who escape death get compensation as soon as possible. We saved them together after all. Thanks for the guilt trip, Nicole. We'll let you off the hook this time. That reminds me. What happened to Nekomata? I haven't seen her since that day. Ah, that little kitten. <laughs> About that... So she still left. Meow, meow, meow! Cat attack! I printed our group photo out! What do you think? It's good, right? Super clear! A good, oh, imagine having an important this story event could be completely time limited and with barely any reruns. It's not just barely any reruns, because in Genshin they have never done a rerun for a story event. And again, when it comes to Genshin, we even have important lore uh, locked behind it. Uh, locked behind some of them. Eh? What's wrong? You two look like someone just stole your favorite mackerel! <laughs> At least with Star Rail they started. 
leaving everything as permanent. Uh, the only things we don't get permanent are just minor combat events no one really cares about. Well said, Wise. Have mercy on me. I just wanted to surprise you. Ahem. Let me formally introduce to you the newest member of the Cunning Hairs. I'm Nekomiya Mata, but you can call me Nekomara. I work for the Cunning Hairs. I look forward to cooperating with you both, meow. But if she becomes a Cunning Hair, does she mean that she's free? <laughs> Uh, yeah, that's ironically one of the things that makes me not want to play Genshin. To be honest, the game has a crap ton of content even without them, but yeah, missing out on important story events like the very first one with the meteor shower, Mona and Scaramouche, that was heavy. The Albedo events had a lot of lore too, and those are never rerunning. And not to mention then there's just the golden apple archipelago ones because those were fun okay what's next uh, feels like you're in much better spirits today so you been thinking about Nekomata's whereabouts the past few days, huh? Anyway, let's discuss our plans for today. Now that we sorted out the stuff with Nicole and Nekomata, we should have some downtime to take care of our own. Enzo, step here on my phone. Uh, wait, who was Enzo now? <laughs> uh, this looks like we still can't change. What else is in the mail? Amplifying test supplies. Thank you for your support for the amplifying test. To help your budding proxy business grow, we've selected an A rank agent. Ooh, free Corrin! I will take the free Corrin. She's a physical attack character. Uh, might actually end up replacing Billy Kid. I'm sorry. Uh, what's travel? Oh. Okay, there is going to be more uh, world stuff. This is just Sixth Street for the very beginning. And you get to quick travel to the various locations on it. That's fine. Uh, let's see, we have another discount here. More searches. Oh, triple eight here. And we're already getting dupes. Uh, wait, first time, 20% off for the first 50 rolls. 10 times guaranteed S rank, available only once. 10 times. A rank signal guaranteed, 50 times S rank guaranteed. But 
We have done the 10 pool already, we haven't gotten the S rank yet. That's weird, but I'm not going to waste the other rolls in here. We're going to need to check this one. And of course the gacha is closed. Off to the singles we are. There is even a banner duration, 21 days. Uh, does that actually go down? Or is an A rank guaranteed every 5 rolls? That's another A rank here. Fantastic, that's the one I wanted. Oh, okay, it takes count of the PT you have, that's nice. So, another 10 roll until I can get another A rank, and 84 roll until I get to hit PT, which is likely going to be 90 rolls here too. Uh, let's see, details, S rank Ellen, and this one has mouse support. Only screen in the entire game that actually has mouse support. Mouse, but no, no scroll wheel, what the hell? Uh, S rank Ellen with increased drop rate, A rank for Sukaku and Anton. Oh, Anton is just A rank, that's sad. See details. Probability of an S rank is 0.6%. Within 90 searches, at least one S rank is guaranteed. Overall probability 1.6%. At S rank obtained through signal searches, 50% probability that the one obtained is the one on the banner. Uh, 0.6, 90, 1.6, these are the exact same rates that Genshin has. A rank at 9.4% with a guaranteed every 10. Yeah, it's the exact same rates Genshin has. Uh, this means we are going to get a guaranteed S rank in the next 10 rolls for the standard banner. Ready for combat. <gasps> Okay, that increases the Eidolon levels, because of course we have to have Eidolons too. And I can't level you up, damn it. Uh, sorry about that, apparently dinner is almost ready. So, what can I give you? Oh, right, she's a support character. 8% uh, attack for everyone. Uh, let's just go with this. Does it follow? Yeah, it follows the exact same and cap structure as Genshin does. But on the bright side, we can just try them out in here. I mean in here. Uh, 
uh, basic, this is just level up materials. Or you can create your very own custom set. So you can farm for multiple things at the same time. That's actually not bad. That's actually quite a good idea. Oh, that's the training here. This is what I wanted to try out. Yes, from the four star, well, from the A ranks, this is one of the characters that look the best. Uh, when she uses her EX special attack, chain attack or ultimate, she gains up to three stacks of Vortex during her special attack or EX special attack holding skill the special attack button for a quick transition to fly the flag. Oh! Hold the special attack button and Sukaku will unleash her fly the flag attack, dealing nice damage. When fly the flag hits enemies, it triggers a reactive assist and grants a buff to Sukaku or an ally. When she has three stacks of Vortex and she activates fly the flag, she consumes all stacks and enters the Frosted Banner state. When the Frosted Banner states, she can launch enhanced basic attacks and enhanced dash attacks, dealing massive ice damage. The skill can be triggered up to 6 times or last up to 45 seconds? These are the durations I like to see, because if you want to use a character as, as an on-field damage dealer, 45 seconds is perfect. Uh, unlike all the 9 seconds, 10 seconds, 12 seconds that Genshin and Onka Impact third have as buffs. One hello and I nice ultimate too. <laughs> and it looks like the ice attack persists even when switching around. That's a lot of AoEs, this is really fun! <laughs>
And it looks like between the two of them they can actually trigger a ton of disorder buffs. Shadow doesn't seem to be doing that much damage though. Yeah, for being test dummies, these things really do have a crap ton of health. Ha <laughs> ha! 
We go. Jesus Christ, these demo fights are so long. Still, uh, she looks pretty fine. I'm going to have to check on the break that she brings, the frost break. But that's going to have to wait for, I don't know, either tomorrow or in a couple of days. Uh, maybe not in a couple of days, because we got the new Phoenix coming out in Grand Blue Fantasy. For now, that's going to be it for today, though. As always, thanks a lot to everyone who came by and saying hello. And see you around for the next one. Ciao!